The Void. A malicious entity that has corrupted many of the world's peaceful bosses. Skellog has fought for eons, but his end is drawing near. It is now up to us to purge this world of its impurities. Many tools and weapons are at our disposal to get rid of these entities. Together with a new reforging system that even allows for mythic gear. Glad yourself in powerful armor to face the Void's corruption. The quest book will guide you through the world's progression. And last but not least, the skill tree holds many different paths. From mages to rogues, archers and even tanks. You already know what I'm going with. I'm so ready to get into this RPG world. So, without further ado, smash the like button, slap that subscribe, and let's jump right into the world. Oh, but first a couple of honorable mentions, because I died a couple of times. Have fun. I know you like watching me suffer. <laughs> Without making the skeletons angry, because they one shot, two shot, pretty much. Okay. Bad spawn. Bad luck, guys. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Forgot what they did. Are you guys ready for a complete new adventure? Don't, don't worry about those. We don't look at those. <laughs> I'm, um... I'm a professional Minecraft gamer. Uh, I don't die. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no! What? If he does one more, can I get out? I can't get out. I don't have blocks. I don't have blocks. I can't place blocks either. Yeah. Oh my, what the f <sighs> I think I would see it from here otherwise, yeah. Pretty sure I would see it otherwise. God, what is this terrain generation? That fall is gonna kill me. Oh god. I knew it. Oh, and because I got stuck in the snow, I got the uh, freezing effect going on on all my hearts. And now I'm dying. <laughs> I, I froze to death. Are you kidding me? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Some don't look right, man. What do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's ugly. Oh, my God. I really can't live without. Yeah. Oh, ah, that makes me happy again. All right, guys. Uh, what an intro. God. <laughs> Uh, I gotta take my notes. Prominence too, baby. <laughs> what an unhinged way to start the video. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make everybody happy right now. Oh yeah, we got dodge rolling. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. First of all, first step in questing is get a fruit or a vegetable. So, oh man, I was gonna say some out of pocket shit. <laughs> get your disabled friend in the chat and let's complete this quest. Oh man. Oh, uh, if that doesn't get me demonetized, then I don't know what will. All right, we are going to go ahead and check our map. Uh, we have an interesting looking building over here. We got also something interesting that I haven't seen before over there. Now, as you might have seen from the death compilation, yeah, we got, here we got, we got real messed up a couple times. Most of them due to my own stupidity or ignorance on that boss fight. I did not expect conjunctivitis to hit like that like it did it was that was mad that was absolutely mad this doesn't look like it's a place that is occupied by anybody hold on we might be able to get some loot in here and loot we did i first found ethyl alcohol which seemed very strong after that i managed to find a chest with a common iron sword and a howling pickaxe so we were dealing with a first hand pickaxe and in the second chest i got an almost full iron set together with a couple of extra iron ingots so we were good to go i also managed to find the diamond which was beautiful 
I then went out to explore the world a little bit, and lo and behold, I immediately found my first structure. This was some kind of rundown place. It looked like everything was dead, and the lore in this book actually told us why it was dead. You can go ahead and pause the video if you want. I just want to go and kill some stuff. Ah, I see a couple of pillagers. They will be my first experience points in this world, because we got a skill tree, boys. We got a whole skill tree that we can level up in. So experience will be a big part of the pack. Now, I will have to be careful because these guys are still pretty strong, especially with the axes. But using a block, I can keep him at bay. So we're good. After killing the pillagers, I got my first advancement, which was Monster Hunter. Now, I had to be careful because these guys still deal a lot of damage and we only have some basic gear at the moment. I also managed to loot up their belongings and inside was an apple. Here we go. First steps. Unlock the chapters. So there's a couple of different chapters in this mod pack, as you can see. The main chapters are exploration, combat, magic, tech, and the campaign. So we have to craft a chest. We have to take a look at the skill tree. We learn about claiming chunks. Reforging, we need an anvil for that. And teleporting, we need to interact with the waystone. Then we can unlock all the other things. The Void's Invasion. Deep within Vaz, the volcano where everything originated, lives Skellak, the creator of all things. He maintains the balance throughout all the dimensions and has fought countless battles to avoid the realm's destruction. So it's pretty much like, yeah, it's pretty much like the protector of the realm. But now after eons of battles, wait, how long is an eon? Wait, don't, let me let me Google this stuff really, really quickly. Ah! A billion years! What the fuck? This guy been fighting for billions of years because it says eons. Jesus! How strong is this dude? Oh, he's as weak as... <laughs> and the new threat approaches. A hungry world-ending force known as the Void. Skellax has contained the Void's invasion for a long time, but now with him being at his weakest point, they are planning an invasion to all dimensions, corrupting once what was once peaceful creatures and turning them into deadly aberrations. Wait, and you expect me to replace a guy that has fought battles for billions of years? Yeah, sure, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Night Lich, the Nether Gauntlet, the Ender Dragon, Blackstone Guardian, Conju- Ah! <laughs> ah, the Fallen Icon- Wait, maybe that's also why I died to it, because it is fucking fifth on the list, and I fought it on day 24. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, that's probably why. Okay, I kind of, I can kind of see why that went wrong. Whoa, three diamonds, hello. That's insane. Oh my god, what? Two iron blocks, are you guys, are you guys nuts? What is going on here? Together with all the loot that I've gotten, I managed to snatch up one of the beds from the villagers, and I slept off my first night. We had done a lot in the first day, and this is a good way to transition into the new combat mechanics. So each weapon has its own movement set, you can have combos, and you can hold your attack button to keep continuously attacking. Which is a great addition to this pack, I gotta say. I also found a burial site with a lot of different anvils, and after reading up on the lore, I figured out that they would kill villagers here using a sort of makeshift guillotine. Now, the good thing is all of these villagers left behind their loot and belongings in their sarcophaguses and coffins. Now, some of this loot is pretty insane, as you will see right now. Whoa! Damn! Right off the... It's a one-handed weapon? Oh my god. That's insane. So yeah, there you go. The loot inside of these coffins is not to be underestimated. Later on, I will also find the netherite scrap piece and a lot of different materials. For example, loads of iron, gold, and all the other good stuff, as well as copper and amethyst. I did manage to spot a sort of wooden pyramid out in the wild, and this pyramid is infested with creepers. I wanted to set up a small encampment and take care of a couple of life quality of life changing things. Like for example, making a backpack. 
This was going to help us store away the items a lot easier and would allow me to actually loot up that pyramid without having to sift through my items and keep tabs on what I would need and what I would not need. I want to loot up as much as possible, if you know what I'm saying. So I took the Sharky plushie along with me because you know the Sharky is pretty cool. With my diamonds, I also made a diamond pickaxe and I started looting up this pyramid, hoping for riches and legendary weapons. I wasn't really that lucky on the legendary weapons. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I had... <laughs> I, I really didn't find much in the first two chests. In the third chest, however, I did actually get two pretty good weapons. We got a diamond scythe, which is a very great starting weapon if you're on day one or two. But I did have that better sword that was one-handed from the graveyard. I also managed to find a flame pendant, which will light attackers on fire and give me fire resistance. Which is pretty awesome. I did spend the whole night looting up that wooden pyramid. And it was finally time to do some exploration. And during my exploration, I've came to notice, I've come to notice, that a lot of the world generation looks absolutely stunning. I managed to find myself another village, and I snatched up the waystone, because that thing was going to go right into my inventory. That was beautiful. And I did a little bit more exploration. I was still on the lookout for a base. But before I found a base, I first found this tavern looking thing. Now up at the top, I managed to find a chest which actually holds two different maps to some really cool structures. So this is like your adventure guild where you can get your different weird kind of maps. And you'll see later that some of these maps are actually pretty insane. I also found an overworld dungeon and I smashed holes into the ceiling letting some sunlight in in order to decrease the spawning rate of enemies which was a that was a big brain move right there. Sadly this dungeon didn't really hold any loot or well good loot and there were almost no enemies. So I ditched it and I went out exploring. I was still on the way to getting my first level which I would later do that night. And I needed to find a couple more waystones and a place to set up base. But first, I had to farm a couple of enemies. How much experience do we need for our first level up? 39. I will do that right now. Woo. There we go. We got it. All right. No, protector's path it is. So right now, we are on a steady... How much is it? Okay, steady 12 hearts. I wonder how many it's going to add. Alright, how many hearts is it going to add? Boom. Bonus health and healing. Did it really only add half a heart? There's no way. There's just no way it added only half a heart. Impossible. I refuse to accept that. Oh! 2.5% it adds. Oh, and plus one healing power. Okay, I guess that's good. I guess that's good. I wanted to go the protector's path because this would allow me to survive for longer. And combining the bonuses of the 2.5% health together with a Omni Vampirism build was going to go a long way. Because you also have a Leeching Enchantment and an Omni Spell Vamp skill. So we're definitely going to be going for that. I want to be unkillable as I only have one life. I did a little bit of underwater exploration, didn't really find too much, and I explored the vast sea waters. I did hit a new piece of land pretty soon. I will take down every single outpost they have. That I am not going into anytime soon. Get out of here. Get out of here. No way. No way. No shot. Oh, hold on. That's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool generation. Yeah, hold on a minute. This is actually pretty cool. I'm claiming this spot. Yeah, I'm taking down the pillagers. I'm claiming this spot. No way. Oh my god, it goes down into caves. That's insane. Oh, I killed that guy. Did you see that? Did you see that? Insane. Insane. Absolutely insane. This will become my base, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is my base now. This is my base, you understand me? My base. Oh my god, this is cool. This is so cool. I know it might not look like too much right now, but we're gonna make it pretty awesome looking. 
first I had to install myself with a basic setup, which means that we had to get a crafting table as well as a furnace and all the other good stuff that we need to set up. After setting up the base necessities for the base, I made a little pathway going up to the upper floor of the forest in order to access the trees that were in the forest. Because we had to go and farm a little bit of wood in order to set up the base better than we have done now. After farming up enough wood, it was already turning into evening time. I made sure to craft enough chests to farm a... well not farm to set up a basic storage facility because before we could get into the simple storage network we had to do everything manually a and yeah that kind of sucks but hey we have to start somewhere right we have to start somewhere in the meantime it was re i was ready to dump away all of the stuff that i'd gotten on my first travels and i set up a very basic enchanting setup well it was only anvils but we could make some totems of scrapping and I also made a couple of basic chest upgrades. So we had two iron chests. I then hung up a couple of different item frames and I inserted some items to snake and all where everything of my loot was going to go. After that, I chopped down the biggest oak tree that I've seen in this pack so far. And that was before getting ambushed. And there were some additional casualties. Um, sometimes it happens. <laughs> After taking down the last couple of logs from this oak tree, it was back to the base. That was before I got ambushed by this guy. Now these ghoul looking, ghoul looking dudes are not very happy with my presence here in this world. But that didn't matter as I was ready to 1, 2 and 3 tap the skeleton finishing him off with a bow shot that exploded very clean. And I had to store away all this stuff. I then had a very small lo-fi mining session because I needed to get a little bit of iron in order to make my first tomes of scrapping. For those of you who don't know, you can make a book that is called a tome of scrapping by surrounding an anvil in a crafting table with books and that will give you a tome that you can disenchant your already enchanted equipment with. So it is great to have for loot that has the enchantments you want to put on other stuff. Talking about loot and enchantments, it is time we go out exploring. Base building will be for later in the mod pack because this pack is an RPG pack. Meaning we gotta go raid some dungeons, baby. Oh yeah, I am so excited about that. I made sure to first go and explore the village that was right outside. These are my neighbors and we have to treat them well. So I saw that they had a pyramid dungeon as well as a woodland mansion and a skeleton dungeon nearby. So we were going to take care of that for our neighbors and in the wooden pyramid or wooden temple I found a couple of interesting items. The kitty slippers are actually a pretty good shoe attachment to raid the jungle pyramids that we saw before with all the creepers because they will allow you to pretty much go stealth on those creepers. I also found a lot of raw materials and then it was off to the next thing. Wait, they're, they're actually golems, whoa not because I'm going the night route that I might not be able to cast spells. Oh god. What is a villager doing in here? What is this? What are these guys doing in here? Oh my god. Dude. No. What are, why are they running inside? You guys are actually you guys are actually stupid. Come on man. What the fuck? You really want me to hit you or something, huh? This chest plate's breaking, bro, I'm telling you. This is not a good place to be in. Not a good position. I gotta corner these guys or something. Uh, yeah, of course you're gonna die. Come on, bro. No! I gotta get... Ah, come on, man. Gotta get on top of there. Here we go. Okay. That was something. That was, that was definitely something, alright. Whoa! What? Bell Staff of Terror. Frost Orb. We got the Frost Eye in the building. That is crazy. And yes, we do have the End Remastered mod in this mod pack, which, well, requires us to gather 12 eyes from various sources. It's not as easy as just getting 12 Eyes of Ender. The first thing that I did when I was back at my base was repair the chestplate with some of the diamonds that I found and take off the knowledge of the ages 
from one of the weapons I looted and put it onto my diamond longsword. Knowledge of the Ages is an enchantment that will convert drops from mobs into experience. So it is a must have to get end game enchantments because you can get insane amounts of experience from mobs. And I figured out a little bit of a cheat during my playthrough. If you are in an underground structure or in a mine, you can check what kind of dungeons or mines have spawned on the map. So I may or may not have used that to scout a couple of possible dungeons that we are going to go to later. I first finished setting up my item frame setup so that way I can identify everything that goes inside of my chests and I have a little bit of an organized setup. I wanted to at least have the basic amount of organization before I started dumping loads of gear into the chest system. And then we went on exploring to one of the areas that I scouted on the map and I tested out the knowledge of the ages but before that I invested another skill point. This time I took the 3.5% attack damage. What the fuck? Am I seeing this right? Why is there a dragon here? I'm out. <laughs> I am noping out of here, brother. No way. I am not geared up to fight a dragon right now. I think that's where the real prize money is going to be at. Hostile mobs. Rarer loot. Ra more, more rare drops. Wow, that's a difficult sentence to say. If I get looting, we can combine it. If I get another knowledge of the ages one, we can combine it. Don't really know what I'm going to do about the food issue. Yeah, because all the food gets turned into experience now. Yeah, I have to admit, I didn't think that one through fully. Oh, hold on. What's that? Nothing strange. Okay. I thought I saw something on the map, like out of the corner of my eye. I was like, ooh, that looks good. Oh. Free experience. Don't mind if I do. Easy. Wait, that started a raid? I need to get out of here. Oh, this place is definitely not safe anymore. What broke? My pants. Whew. No bueno. Sorry, villager. I gotta leave you behind. Pants broke, no food. We ain't doing this. Uh, can you stop blinding me, please? That would be greatly appreciated. Oh my god, they got Serbian. They, they got like tigers and shit. Crazy. I hope they drop some emeralds, because that's going to give good experience. I feel like a rare item like that should turn into quite a bit. And arrows as well. Arrows are pretty good. Yeah, eight experience to pop. That's not bad. Give me EXP. Good boy. And those things look awesome. Hey, we got some food. Man, I really wish I could ride one of these things. <gasps> you have got to be kidding me. Dude, please tell me you tamed this like a horse. Oh, ho, ho, there is no way. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's no way. There's just no way. There is no way. I saved a saddle. This is predetermined to be like this. There is no other way. There is no other... Dude, that's insane. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, where is he? Where is he? Here, here he is, here he is. <laughs> huh? Yes! Here we go! <laughs> Look at that. He's not fast, but it's cool. <laughs> and it's got step height. That's what I wanted. Wait, maybe this thing doesn't sink in the ice. That is... That's a possibility. That I didn't even think about. Oh, he does. He does sink. He does sink. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, mounted combat. <laughs> no way. That's too good. That's too good. All right, hold on, buddy. Hold on, buddy. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. The ice biome is not your favorite. Well, I mean, it's your home, bud. You sink through the snow. Oh, look at him. Aww. Oh, my God. Oh, yo, that's so cute. Wait, he has like a swim boost. What is this? Uh, go up, go up. Please don't drown. <gasps> no. No, don't drown. <gasps> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. 
I did spot a dungeon because of him dying. <laughs> did he really have to die for that? Uh, I'm not good at keeping pets, it seems like. Oh, here we go, here we go. What is all of this? Here we go. Ah, uh, there was only one chest. It's kind of mid. Hold on, we got we got a we got a we got a couple of things. We got a Lexica Botania. We got an Unbreaking Tempest Knife. Got a Epic Golden Mace. Thirteen projectile damage. Heavy crossbow is strong. Taking my losses, I decided to take a day off and keep things a little bit relaxed while I was looting up the place. I found some more runic tablets, I found a couple of other things, mainly some barrels and some random loot, but not before finding one of the things that would skyrocket this playthrough. I found an eternal or well, everlasting beef. You can cook this and it gets turned into a steak that will never be consumed. Which is awesome! I never have to worry about food again. After that I did a little bit more looting in some random dungeons, and I managed to find a copper ring, which was very interesting. I did have no issue looting up these places anymore, but I also managed to find a Sharpness 2 weapon. Checking my map, I noticed that I needed to explore a little bit more to the south part of the map. I was getting very far away exploring to that northwest part. Back at the base, I stored away all of the equipment that I had looted up, and sadly, I had to store my saddle back in my chests, which still makes me sad to this day. That pet was so cute, and I didn't even get to give him a name before he died. That's honestly, like, probably the saddest part about the whole story. Exploring southwards gave me an insight on a dungeon filled with spiders. Now, seeing as I have arachnophobia, I really dislike this type of dungeon, but... Things had to be done, ends had to be met, and loot had to be gotten. So I took care of the spawners and the cobwebs, and through all of the rummaging, I actually found a diamond. And look at that. How beautiful does this mod pack look? It's insane. Wow. Well, this is an interesting biome. I'm not sure if anything interesting spawns here, but... Oh, hey. I asked for a grave, and I got one. I'll take it. Oh, we got some new leggings. They do give minus five speed. That's fine. You are free experience to me. After that, I found a ship completely filled with pillagers. These pillagers were, however, no problem, as in all of my looting of the dungeons, I found many arrows and a pretty good boat. The loot inside of this ship was absolute trash, though, so that was kind of bad. I did manage to dip after killing all of the pillagers, and I spotted another underwater dungeon, hoping this was where I strike gold. And oh boy, did we strike gold with this one. I also got the quest for a runic grimoire. Now you'll see very soon why we got that quest. Hold the phone. We got, we got one of the weapons. Boys, it's done. It's done. We got one of the weapons. J on the right click, jolt forward like lightning, gaining momentarily invulnerability as well as lingering speed and haste. Doesn't deal damage, but the thing deals 10 attack damage with a 10% crit rate and a 3 attack range, which is about the same. 2 attack speed, which is more. It is probably two handed. It is probably two handed. Oh! 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 Oh, <laughs> hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. That is mad, that is mad. Wait, it gives haste? It gives haste, it gives haste too. Oi, oi, oi. Hey, dude, what the hell? This thing's like a, like a freaking tank. Like a tank, man. Oh my God. What else did we get? We got a freezing foil. Very interesting. Okay, we now get extra attack damage so we can get the Omni Vampirism next. Oh, dude, I like that I got this though. Oh yeah, momentary invulnerability. That's the uh, resi resistance four for like 
two seconds. I see a couple of pillagers, so I want to test out my new Warglaive. Ooh, Pillager Tower. Might have some good loot. Ooh. Ooh, this deals a lot of damage. This deals a lot of damage. It has really good DPS. And this thing is not enchanted in the slightest. There's like three of them on top of here. Never mind, I stand corrected. There's four. They all die. They all die. Yeah, just between you and me, those pillagers did not stand a chance at all. Now, it was time that I looted this place. I got the maps and I got out of there ASAP because I would not survive a full-on raid. Alright, what do we got in this one? An ancient, ancient city? Whoa! Wait, we're actually pretty close to this thing. It's off to the north. Let's go there right now. I want to get that location on lockdown. We have to find a waystone in the process, though. That's for sure. Because if I want to be able to go to that ancient city, that's going to have some of the best loot, by the way. We can try to loot that up. We can try to loot that up. If we're just very careful about the skulk, we should be able to just get in, loot the place, get out. Ancient city. Dude, that's wild. We're already moving on the map. That's pretty good. Now, I want to start heading east as well. Wait, where is this thing going to be? It's going to be pretty close to my base. Well, I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Soon enough, during the night, I figured out where exactly this ancient city was located. I made my way over to the X marks the spot, and it was time to start my descent down in the depths of the overworld. We were going to the place where the Warden resigns. A long lost friend, <clears throat> Symbolica, uh -huh. And I did not want a round two with this guy. I wanted loot and I wanted to get out of here. This is one hell of a scary place. Because if there is a warden, I am done for. Now, I did manage to spot a couple of chests that were pretty lootable. Now, to my, to my knowledge, or to the extent of my knowledge, I did not know how to deal with these things. I did not know how to deal with the Skulk spawners and the Skulk Shriekers. So I had to do a little bit of Googling. And after a little bit of Googling, I figured out how these things work. Apparently, the Skulk Shrieker is what sets off the Warden. As long as there is no Shrieker nearby, then we should have no problem taking down the Skulk sensors. So that is exactly what I did. I took down the first Skulk Shrieker after making sure there wasn't another Shrieker in an 8 block radius of the original one. And then it was looting time! Or at least, I was hoping it was going to be looting time after that. I took down the first Shrieker, the sensors went off, but nothing really happened. So we were in the clear to take down the other two sensors and then loot up the chest. And there we go! The first chest was looted. It had a lot of advanced machine frames, or industrial machine frames, a couple of enchanted books, some additional loot, and I actually managed to find a Lich Blade in one of the other chests. Now I knew for a fact that I wanted to loot up this full base. I wanted to loot up the whole place. After setting off one of the Shriekers, I actually managed to spawn in a Warden. This was was terrible. It was trouble. I ran as far as I could, as fast as I could, making sure that I stayed away from any other Shriekers because the Warden could not find me that way. I snuck around the whole place, keeping to the main frame of the ancient city. This place is lined with wool and it would dampen my footsteps and I had no idea why, why I was even here or what I was doing here. It was a very dangerous and ballsy move, but if everything went right and we didn't die in this ancient city, it would put us ahead of the game by a mile.
After looting up a couple more chests, I found a little bit more diamond stuff. I actually found a special type of vial, which I didn't really know what it does. A couple of different rings and a lot of other loot. I also managed to get a good supply of coal. That is definitely not forgettable. And a lot of random different ingots, as well as a couple of enchanted books, some smithing templates to upgrade our gear to warden gear. But for that, we actually had to kill a warden. So beware of that. We couldn't really do that. And a little bit later, I actually set off another sensor, but this time it didn't spawn the warden because there were sh no shriekers nearby, which was good. And I continued on my looting spree. And some of these chests, I have to say, are absolutely stacked up with loot. I got another set of diamond gear, and this time it was diamond pants. Now, what I have come to notice is that diamonds are a pretty rare commodity inside of this pack. And that's when it happened. I set off another shrieker. The screen went dark, but no warden spawned. We were in the clear for now. We were in the clear. But it definitely did not mean that it wasn't still a scary place. A little bit later, I set off another shrieker and it was done. The warden had spawned and I was completely caved in. I was trapped. I had to get some blocks out of my inventory and start making my way over these basalt blocks that were filled with magma and lava. This was a treacherous terrain to traverse, but I managed to make do. We finally got away from the warden and I looted up the last couple of chests that were still unlooted by me. On the last or previous to last chest, it happened again. The warden spawned out of nowhere and I was running for my life. I could not take a mishap here. If I took one wrong step and fell to my doom, the warden would catch up to me. Parkouring my way around this basalt lava wasteland, I managed to get out of harm's way and we were in the clear. We looted up the whole ancient city without actually having to deal with a warden once. Which was pretty awesome. And then the warden chased me into a dungeon. Because the guy looped around and he flanked me. Crazy bastard. I did manage to kind of trap him on the entrance. Because we are only two blocks high and one block wide. And that guy is a big dude. So he got stuck on the walls. And I was safe for now. Now... Coincidentally, coincidentally, this is a pretty good dungeon to loot up because all of these sarcophagi have a pretty good loot table. We're talking about emeralds, diamonds, uh, we're talking about iron and copper, runic tablets, different types of enchanted books. This is a pretty good place. I also got another level and I finally got my 8% Omnivampirism, which means we are healing for 8% of the damage we are dealing which is quite the substantial amount. I also managed to kill a ton of mobs while we were inside of this dungeon because some of these coffins actually spawn the ghosts, I've come to notice. After a little while, I was still enjoying my eternal stake and I had to employ a couple of ranged and melee tactics. And we looted up this whole place. And that's when I spotted our bad boy. That is one scary dude. After that, I decided it was time to get out of there. I wanted to, I wanted to get out there. I had quite the trip behind my back. A lot of tension, and I wanted to take it easy. Just sit and relax, take care of this prison quarters, this, well, not the full prison quarters, but at least the spawning portal. I wanted to just chill, take a note on the map saying that this was where the prison quarters was. And after that, we were going to start a small journey back to our base. Because we need to store all of this awesome loot that we've gotten. I mean, just look at this. We got so much stuff. <laughs> it was beautiful. But I first had to craft up a boat because we needed to traverse a little bit of water. I managed to find my way back to my neighbors and I was going to use their teleporting waystone to get back to my base. This is why I also want to keep, you know, having a good faith with my neighbors so I can keep using their waystone. It's kind of nice. Pretty dope. And back at the base, I stored away all of the loot that I'd gotten. And we were on track of becoming OP. What an adventure that was. It's finally time to check up on some of the quests. 
Okay, so we've pretty much completed all of the basic quests, which gives us enough to make a couple of upgrade templates. And I get a blank upgrade as well. For the chest upgrading, we get some levels. For the teleporting, we get an empty scroll. And for the um, anvil, we get an amethyst shard. And continuing the journey completes the chapter. Oh, yeah. All right, look at that. Now, it's not this. This is the one that I wanted to get into. Yeah, okay, here we go. So I get another slumbering lich blade as well. Now I have to get an empowered remnant. Now, the cool thing is you get an empowered remnant by melting down one of those things. So that leads me to believe that I need to get... Uh, hold on, I don't have any coal anymore. I then started making my first automated smelter. This was going to be a little step up from the basic manual inputs. I also made my base light up a little bit with these cool soul torches that I've never used before. And I also upgraded my backpack. I made a couple more backpack upgrade templates and I got an iron and a gold backpack upgrade. I inserted everything into the smithing table and we were running a pretty good backpack setup right now with two additional rows. Okay, so now we have we get another empowered remnant. And then we learn about rune-fused gems. Combine a runic tablet with an empowered remnant in a smithing table. Yeah, crying obsidian, that's what we needed. Okay, we need crying obsidian for that. Because the cool thing is we have one empty rune socket, so I can put a rune into this item which I very very well want to do um, but then I have to find a rune nether portal there's one over there oh boys that's gonna be so dope oh let's loot this pyramid as well interesting levitating shot we got a magnet there we go okay Two runic tablets, epic rubber ring, diamond halberd. All right, cool. We got one diamond. It's not enough to make a diamond axe, sadly. I, if I would have gotten two diamonds, I could have made a diamond axe. I'll uh, I'll take two crying obsidian with me, so I can make two gem gem sockets, and then I can choose which one is the better one. You you see what I mean? Boom boom. boom eh? Room fuse gems. Okay. Okay. So wait, what do I do? Oh, chance to chill or freeze your target. Deal additional damage for each arrow stuck on your body. What? That's interesting. I think it's with an anvil, right? Wait, no, huh? Oh. Here we go. Chance on hit the chill or freeze your target. Yeah, that's gonna be good. We get some, uh, we get some CC with this, uh, with this thing. I only got 34 books. That's not a lot. Oh, dude, we could do something real cool here. We could have this be our enchanting room. Oh yeah, that's 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 epic. And then I'll guess I will just build a little bridge over to here. Go ahead and get some wood. So I can make a couple... I can make 11, 11 bookshelves. Books over here. Try to keep everything a little bit clean and organized. Okay, how much levels does that give me? Ooh. That's only 22. I would really like to do a level 30 enchantment first. Okay, let's think. What did I want to do? I have my backpack upgrades here. So those are good. Oh, maybe it's time to um, do some of that reforging that I've been putting off. Should I already get into mending? I don't think I should. This bow is pretty good now. The thing is that I want to get better tomes of scrapping. But I'll have to do infusion, which I'll have to get a couple of things for. Ah! Ah! Okay. I'm quite fond of that. Whoa! I don't feel comfortable dropping down that deep with my sword. Do I think I would survive this? I don't know. 
Oh! <laughs> Fully negating fall damage. I love it. Not gonna lie, that is pretty big. We have one extra level. I will go for attack speed on that one. Yeah. Actually. Wait, although this is... This is a different type of cave. There's also a bastion. Oh, dude. We're in the money. Yeah. We are in the money. That's pretty good. Yes! We found another, uh... Another mimic. Oh. Scarf of Invisibility. Damn, man. He could have given me the fortune scarf. That would have been so much better. Do we got another... Yes! We got two! Dude, we got mimics for days here. Okay, so we got a panic necklace and a flame pendant. Both not that great. Ah, uh, yeah, both are not that great. Dang. Let's see what we got over here. Nice, another mimic. That's really good. And we are artifact hunting. Running shoes! That's awesome for overworld exploration. That is awesome. Do one another level up. I will take that. I will get some extra maximum health. Yeah, yeah. All right, I think it's time to make our way over to that bastion. This bastion is gonna be pretty sick. It's an overworld bastion, man. How cool is that? There we go! Just like that, diamond shoes, baby! I wanna get every single chest in this overworld bastion, man. I'm telling you. First, I'll try to do the whole bottom floor. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. We got a whole diamond set. Legendary diamond helmet with icy thorns and a sharpness four with the diamond. Whoa. Oh yeah, look at just look at all the diamonds we're getting. That is so good. More diamonds. Dude, we can do some re-rolling. That's amazing. We already have one legendary item. I'd love to get a couple extra legendary pieces with reforging. So I'll go ahead and uh, place one here. Call that Bastion. Here we go. Let's go back to the base. Look at that. Would you look at that? Gonna be interesting to see what we can get. I'll settle for purples right now. Oh wait, this is another legendary, but I already have this one legendary. Come on! At least blue. No. Oh my god, these boots are absolute ass! Oh, nice. Solid. That is solid. Well, there go all my diamonds. <laughs> because I definitely, definitely need to take the mending off. I, I want to wait because I want to do enchanting. I guess I could put the mending on the pants. Uh, we need to make some more tomes of scrapping. Yeah. And I don't have enough books. What? Say what now? Well, I bet there would be bookshelves in there, but that's kind of a death sentence. Wait, do I have fall damage immunity? Yes, I do. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's pretty dope. Okay. So, at least we now have sugarcane farm. Gonna have to expand on that one. Yeah, probably for a yeah, a lot. A lot. <laughs> Otherwise, this is not going to work, man. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to do some exploration. So, what we're going to do now is I want to explore this side. There's a lot of stuff that I feel like has been left unexplored over there. Which is southeast, kind of. We're going southeast. And we're mainly looking for a ton of bookshelves. Because we need a lot of books. We need a lot of books. And we're gonna get, we're gonna be killing pillagers all over the place because we are 132 experience away from our level up. And you know I like my level ups, baby. I then went looking for a couple of victims that could suffice me with enough experience to level up. 
I did find them in the form of pillagers, and you can never kill enough pillagers in this mod pack, trust me. I then found a ruined nether portal, and this was good, because I needed some crying obsidian and some regular obsidian. I was lacking in the obsidian department. I also found a really cool fire looking sword, but it wasn't that useful to me. After mining up the crying obsidian, I was to set forth my journey. And so I did, exploring the beautiful jungles, the deep dark forests, and crawling into the many various dungeons that this mod pack has to offer. I then stumbled upon a village, and in this village I finally found my bookshelves. Now, I wasn't going to be able to return to this village anymore, since I completely destroyed every single bookshelf they owned, so they probably weren't too happy with that. I left on a quick escape on my boat and decided to take care of the pillager infestation to the left. That wasn't before I was scouring the GAI menu and I found a netherite upgrade piece. Look at that, a topaz helmet that has more armor than netherite. So it seems like there are some quite powerful upgrades to netherite in this mod pack. We definitely have to explore those options. During the nighttime, I also checked if I could find any sea structure, but I didn't have too much luck. I did find another pillager camp and that allowed me to level up. And as you saw, we are going for a tanky route, so I went ahead with the 2.5% maximum health. We could also get 25, 24% uh, extra armor if we were to go down this skill tree, which is pretty insane. 24% armor is wild. I first took care of the skeleton and then I checked on this weird structure. Apparently a meteor had hit this structure, rendering it unable to be looted. Back at the base, I made another couple of tomes of scrapping and I was going to be able to do some disenchanting because I had a couple of different item pieces that I found during my travels that have some good enchantments that I want to take off. Mainly, there's a couple of vein minings in there and, I mean, if you've ever used vein mining before, you know it's a nice enchantment to have. I also made a couple of bookshelves and I wanted to figure out if I could have enough to make level 30 enchantments now. So I placed the bookshelves down into my enchanting setup and I checked on the level. And we were in the money. We could do level 30 enchantments now. So you already know I put my boots inside and did a level 30 enchantment and I got cowardice, heal allies and thorns. Dang. Okay. What about this one? Leeching 2? Critical hit too. Okay. Okay. Damn. So sharpness four definitely. Oh, is echo a bow enchantment? No. Strange. Chainsaw. There we go. And I'm gonna need. Bounding to prot three, I guess that's good. I do want to check if you can put projectile protection on a protection item. And I want to see if you can put smite on a sharpness item. So protection, you can. So I will. Smite on a sharpness weapon. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. What does cowardice do? When at full health, you receive the strength effect. Whoa! Okay, we are really strong now. What? That's insane. I also went ahead and checked on the quest book, and it seems like you have, for every single mod pack, or mod, that's inside of this pack, you have a specific quest line. So we're talking about Aqua Mirai and we're talking about souls like weaponry, which is pretty awesome. And then I found this. Whoa! This sword can fight for you. That's insane. Dude, this thing is This thing is sick. Sword of Fair. God. Okay, well, I definitely think we have to visit the Nether first. That's one of the things, right? We only have seven obsidian, so that's not a lot. Okay, I need a bunch of wood, but I can test out this chainsaw thingy now. Wait, hold on. 
The new place that I put my waste zone at had a bunch of wood. Far one. Yeah, these are some pretty big things. Pretty big trees, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Using the shift button allows you to do some crazy stuff. How is there a zombie here? Oh my god! I one shot the zombie. Damn! That's that's pretty nutty. So I can make two more copper upgrades and then I need some irons and some golds. So I think those are gonna be what I need most. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So like this. Cool, and then I need ten. So I think like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whoo! Nice. It really is time that I go visit the Nether. I'm very sure. Because the gear we're running right now is really good. Really good. Also, might be very interesting to get some totems of undying. Now that I got this weapon, which is really strong. Oh, there are so many mobs in there. I smell experience beyond belief. I don't see jack shit. Gotta close my blinds and up the brightness on the video. I am. This is, this is insane. We are absolutely flying. One-shotting undead mobs. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. What's all this crazy stuff? We got the magical eye. Ooh, two extra max health. I will take this. Mad. Absolutely mad. The amount of ass whooping I'm doing right now is absolutely crazy. Okay, I really like my glaive. I really like my glaive. Wait, that's it? Did I... Did I really already complete this? I thought, it was a, I thought this was going to be much more difficult. What? Okay, let me check on something. Ah, this is it. Inventory connector. Connect all of the touching inventories into one. Use the storage terminal to access all of your items. Okay. Well, I guess if we do that, we can connect all of these inventories. Well, we could add some inventories behind them so that they are connecting up. Yeah, we could do that. It can be any kind of wood. Any kind of wood, ender pearl, redstone repeater. We're looking at some glowstone and diamonds and crafting tables. I mean, that's easy enough. Although for the glowstone, we are going to have to go to the nether. Yeah. Explore a little bit more south until we find a ruined nether portal. Mine that join up. And then we can go to the nether. Hopefully my magnet does its job before the obsidian burns. It did. Nice. That's pretty good. There we go. Now I just need a flint and steel and I need to make a waste stone. So we are talking one obsidian. We are talking one emerald. We're talking two flint it should be. Hey, wait, now, hold on a moment. Now, hold on a damn moment right there, boy. What do you mean we don't got no flint? What do you mean? Oh, God, we really don't. Magic trick. Look at this. Boom. Boom. That only gave me seven flint, really? That's not a lot. I mean, I guess it's enough. We can make a couple waystones just to be safe. 
Can I? I can't put it in the sh in the in a charm in a charm slot. I can't put it in the charm slot, sadly. So it is what it is on that part. And off we go into the Nether. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Let's go. Now let's check our quests. Nice. We get a fire gauntlet, which causes the wearer's melee attacks to deal fu fire damage. And we don't have a glove yet, so that is really nice. Blaze, Blaze Guardian, the Blackstone Golem, the Necromancer, the Nether Gauntlet, the, the Decaying King, the Withered Demon, and the Soul Reaper. There's a lot of stuff here that can kill us. I do spot a Bastion immediately. Which is great, because that is the first thing that I will go to. I feel like I'm up, up way too high. Oh, never mind. I'm not up way too high. What do we got? We got the Ruby upgrade. Oh, that's sick. That is sick. Ooh, look at that. More ancient debris. Let's go. Ooh, this one's got prop three. Soul Devourer. That might be good. They should have some random loot at different places in this, in the in these floors. Oh, Netherite scrap, baby. Let's go. Netherite upgrade. Let's go. Oh -ho! Yes. Fire node. That fire gem. <gasps> Whoa, we can do spells and stuff with that. That's really good. Hold on. Let me gather these up. Really? Oh, God. Okay, we gotta run, we gotta run. Is that... Yeah, that's dangerous. That can fling me off in the lava and stuff like that. Wow, we just we just killed a mutant enderman. That's pretty dope. Wait, there's another one? Really? I don't wanna fight another one. Okay, so that is the first bastion done. We have another bastion off to the left side. Now, the interesting thing is, I have enough to make one netherite piece. So, I'm going to go back home. I'm going to go back home. And I'm going to make myself one of these bad boys. Where is it? I'm going to make myself one of these bad boys because my glaive still needs... Yeah, it still has an empty nether socket. Which is... Absolutely bonkers. So we're going to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I am so excited for this. I am so excited for this. It's going to be my first nether nether socket. So we got we got a really strong weapon with 10% crit chance, critical hit, sharpness, smite, leeching, freeze, jolt forward, and gain invulnerability, lingering speed, and haste. Unique chance on hit to refresh your ability cooldown. And we are going to put a nether socket into it. And I really have no idea what these nether sockets can be. So this is going to be a really big surprise. It's going to be really awesome, but it's a big surprise. All right, here we go. It's time. It's time, it's time, it's time. Oh my god, nether fused gem. Onslaught. When hitting a target afflicted with slowness, gain onslaught for a short duration. Onslaught grants you pulsing haste, but inflicts you when, with weakness when it expires. Huh. That's interesting. Gives you weakness when it expires. So as long as you're hitting a target with... I mean, that might work really good. Pulsing haste. But wait, when it, when it comes to fighting bosses, it's probably insane, right? 
It has to be insane when it comes to fighting bosses. I'm taking this, man. This is gonna be... Yeah, it's gonna, just gonna be nuts. It's gonna be absolutely nuts. Well, I guess Freeze and Onslaught work really well together, though. Yeah. They actually do. Wow, we are almost leveled up. Gnarly. Okay, we are exploring the nether further when we get back. Oh, yeah. Now, I want to actually... Hold on. Let's do something else first before we get into the whole shingamabobble of getting back to the nether and looting up some more. I want to make these things. I think for that I need diamonds. So we're going to need an ender pearl, a couple of chests, some planks. It can become one big storage thing. But if they aren't connecting, then it won't work. So right now, all these inventories are connected. So now we have the inventory connector. Connects all of the touching inventories into one. Use the storage terminal to access all of your items. So normally, zero free slots. Unless I have to do it like this. Aha. There we go. It is showing everything. Okay, so this is good. So we need diamonds and we need quartz. All right. Let's go and explore the nether to find some diamonds and some quartz, man. All right. Okay. Can we not immediately try to kill me? That'd be nice. Okay, so we have two more interesting ones over there. I do want to explore those. Let's pop our level up. We are going to go for toughness. 5% extra toughness. Go ahead and get this quartz. That's one of the things that we needed desperately. Oh. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Just start burning myself. Um, well, a decaying king. I don't think we're up for that task, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think we're up for that task. I do want to I do want to take on the Bastion though. The Bastion sounds like a good idea. The Decaying King sounds like a terrible idea. You know, the reason why I think the Decaying King is not a good idea is because we first of all don't have a full prop force set. Uh, but if we go and look at the Void's invasion, the Decaying King is not even on here. Oh, it's in red. Dude, it's in red. That means this, that boy is dangerous. I'm hoping to find a bit of diamond. We got a ruby upgrade. That's not bad. Mending? Okay. Okay. I see you. Where's all the chests though? Oh my God. What is that? What the fuck is this? Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just gonna snipe you from across, man. You look like trouble. Oh, that was one of the bosses. Really? Oh, what? Okay. We got one of the nether bosses down. Whoa, did you see that quick double hit? That was nasty. I guess that's the onslaught speaking. All right, seems like we got a pretty good access point here. I would have liked if I had... Oh, I actually made it. I made the gap. Nice. Now, these have chests inside of them. Hmm. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Um, We're looking for normal chests then, just scattered around, around the place, I guess. Echo. Advanced machine frames. Nether eye. Pretty good. I do like me a nether eye. All right, what is this stuff? Mechanized saw blade? Holy. Data storage chip? Okay. Oh, it's one of these places. All right, yeah, they're pretty good. Seems like we're lacking a little bit. Bramble thorn. Spore galore. <laughs> oh, dude, I can skip across. That's really good. Awesome. Look at if we find any good enchantments like that. That prop 3 is pretty good. 
Also, I haven't gotten any uh, Wither Skeleton heads. I have noticed that as well. Oh, actually I did. I got my second one just now. Now, I'm not sure if the Wither is buffed in this mod pack, but if it is, that's going to be one scary opponent as well. What? Hey, one diamond! That's a lucky find. Uh, this will be my Nether Fortress. Thanks for Magma Cream. Oh, we got enough diamonds. Scorch. So we learned Scorch, and we learned the Hellbeam spell. Wait, hold on. Now that I think about it, I think I have enough... No, I don't have enough diamonds. Because I got one at home. Which I used for that. No, we need one more diamond. One more diamond. Oh, new skill point. Let's go. 8% armor. Of course I'm taking that. Yeah, it certainly looks like a bastion. The thing that's right next to us? I'll have to go up in order to find it. Wait, hold on. Hold on a moment. Wait a minute. This is a pretty good place, man. What do we got here? Bell power, poison cloud chains, dynamo, knockback. Mm. Eh. Yeah, there is a chest and the spawner. Really? A spawner? Hold on. Let me store away some of these basic blocks that I definitely don't need. Soul Devourer 3. Got another rune plate. That's pretty good. Incombustible. Jesus. That sounds like a scary one. I want to get up on this ledge here and then continue exploring. Oh, you mean? Damn lava? I almost kill my ass. So Are you serious? God. God. You mean? How much lava is there? No way there's still lava here, right? Uh, I thought so. I have no idea. What is this? Obsidian glass? This is like a spawn egg of a of a monstrosity or something? I don't know what's going on here. Back to the base we go. And I want to put mending on my gear. That is uh, definitely going to be, be something I need to do. Oh, well. Boom, boom. Oh, it's not levels. It's the experience. Nice. We can do a ton of enchanting like that. Because it doesn't use up flat levels. That is so amazing. All right. Um, well, mending will definitely have to go on these two items. I'll put the projectile protection and protection on the helmet, which is going to make it a lot stronger. Put the protection four on the boots. Fortune two, the pickaxe. Can't put echo on it. I can put soul devourer. That's really good. And I will also put a projectile protection. So I have a lot of projectile protection. Yeah. I don't have a lot of fire protection. That's the one thing I'm really missing. Oh, wait. Hold on. I have another mending. Yeah. I didn't clear my inventory yet. Awesome. Okay. Full full mending set. Let's go. Did I have any other enchanted items that I wanted to scrap? I think I had an efficiency. Yeah, efficiency 3. Here we go. That's right. Would need another mending for that, to be honest. Hey, ain't gonna lie. Pretty dope. Still pretty damn dope. Here we go. A little nappy nap done. Time to hit the nether again. Easy. Nether ruby ore? Hello? Nether ruby? Cool. That should have given me quite a bit. Yeah, it gave me quite a bit of levels, actually. Uh, I'm going to... Hold on. To give you an idea on what I want to go for, there is... Ooh. Okay, okay. There's more lethality over here. and There's also some armor. Okay, first of all, we are going to get the 16% extra armor. We're also going to get the 10% extra toughness. Um... Here we're going to get the 2.5% health. And then we're going to continue on in this way. Transition into more extra health. Lethality, health, 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 health. 
Attack speed, armor, and movement speed. I'll take the movement speed as well. Movement speed can be pretty good. I think the best chest is the one in the middle here, so... Let's see. We got the... We got the smithing upgrade over here. Which is pretty good. We got a diamond... Uh, an, a gold block, not the diamond block. Is this really it? Is this really what the Bastions have for loot? Oh, I'm gonna be mad disappointed, man. I'm gonna be mad disappointed. Okay, so where are we in relativity to the Bastion? Uh, nowhere, because I can't see it. It should be over here somewhere. I didn't find any diamonds, though. That's, that's a really, really sad discovery. And this pickaxe is going down fast, and I don't like it. Oh. This one, however, I can mine with the vein mining pickaxe, which is good. Huh, what is that? Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Is that a skeleton horse rider? I bet you got some good loot, don't you? Come here, baby. Oh, oh. He gets off of the horse. Oh, Soul Reaper. Oh my god. Frozen in place, it can't do nothing. Oh, it was a quest as well. There's no way. Oh, it's a gauntlet. It's not a fortress. Oh, it's not a bastion. That might be a bastion. What is that? No, that's not a ba bastion either. Oh god, I don't want to fight this guy. Uh, at least I don't think I want to fight this guy. Go ahead and claim our quests. We got the Piglin Beast and we got the Soul Reaper. Uh, with the Demon Decaying King, Nether Gauntlet. Here we go. Spawn in rare structures. Oh, shit. If we kill it, we get another eye piece. Oh, maybe I do want to get him. Ooh. Ah. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Is this going to be a good idea? I don't think it's going to be a good idea. Okay, I got two god apples. I got a couple of golden apples. I don't have fire resistance. And we we are not that strong. I do want to give it a shot, though. Bosses of... It's a boss of mass destruction. Are we ready for this? I don't think I'm ready for this guy. But even so, I still have to try, right? That guy is buff. This thing is buff, man. This thing is so buff. Look at its health and its defense. What do you mean? Oh, God. Oh, I got him locked down. I got him locked down. Dude, I got him trapped like that. That's insane. Okay, let's get a god apple. Oh god! What? He's got like a fucking laser beam. Let's lock him down. Lock him down. Dang. Okay, 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 okay. Where is he? Where is he? He's over there. No, laser beam. Laser beam. Is it doing a lot of damage to my armor? No, it's not. Good. Lock him down. Lock him down. Freeze two. Freeze two. There we go. There we go. What now, huh? Huh? Oh god! I don't see it coming. I can't... It's not telegraphed. Like, at all. Oh! He does the fire thing as well! No, you don't got nothing on me, man. Oh god. Oh god, that looks scary. Where is he? Oh god. He's doing the Choso, man! He's doing the Choso! Where is he? Huh? Dude, come on. My things are gonna run out. That's not cool. My buffs. 
He's gaining his health back. Are you kidding me? Did all that work? Did all that work for nothing? And I'm out of here. Fuck this. I'll come back for your ass at some point. He just, he ran away and started regenerating like a little bitch. That's what he is. Although I'm really surprised that I one-shot normal mobs and that guy took barely any damage. Like I was doing three to four damage. I... Oh, hold on. Nether rubies? I want to see what these do. Obsidian Breaker 1. What? Oh. The base armor for that? Oh, I just broke the pickaxe. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. I also don't have a waystone with me. Oh, I do. Wait, hold on. I did take it with me. Good. Here. That is... A godsend. Oh my god. This is... This is the best. This is just the best. Besides that, it is good to have. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Four extra maximum health. Oh! <laughs> Two nether ingots. Here we go. Five gold blocks. What? Oh, yeah. The looting has started. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Wait, do I already have a hook? No, I don't have a hook yet. Uh huh. Pretty good. Oh, prop three. Hold on. Cursed eye. Nether ingot. Let's go. More iron. Woo. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Level up means 8% more armor. Let's go. It gives me a full extra armor. That's gnarly. Okay, hold on. We are going to make a quick stop at home. Because I want to upgrade my stuff. Your ability, max health, and armor toughness. And it adds a little bit more armor toughness. It doesn't add any extra armor, it seems like. What if I go ahead and check? So, diamond can only be upgraded with netherite. And netherite can be upgraded with a ton of other things. Gilded netherite. I think that's just a cosmetic change, right? Netherite iron? That adds a little bit more armor toughness. Okay, so the warden armor gives you more... So the Warden is a valid upgrade. Topaz, also valid upgrade. Sapphire, I guess, as well. And Jade, as well. But the problem being that I don't know where to get these Topazes. Well, I guess I'll go for Netherite. Yeah, I'll just do that. Boom. Full Netherite. Cover me in debris. Damn straight. Oh, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Of course, I still have the vein mining pickaxe, which took another 60 off of it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and try to figure out some of this brewing. There we go, day 25. We go back to the ZZZZ. Yeah, <laughs> how could I forget that I was doing this one? Okay. Oh my god! Boom! Boom! Applies an extra level of fortune! <laughs> Does go in the next slot, but that's fine. That is absolutely fine. You know what trend's been lately all over my TikTok page? The Shik Shack Shock. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but man, ooh, that singing is, uh... No, I mean like that. Ugh. Okay. That was a really good tower. That was a really good tower. Ah, level up, baby. We are going to go for our last armor buff, which is another 8%. Here we go. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. 24% extra armor. Insane. Oh, God. 
Oh god. Runners, we already have. Netherite ingots. Just like that. Looting three. Lads. Hold on. We got two ancient debris. I don't know about you, but I like the sight of that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Jesus Christ. This is the place for netherite ingots, all right? This is the place. And gold. Oh. We got an ancient debris. Let's go. That's one. Ah, there's two. There's two. Oh, God. Yep, that, yep, of course. Of course, that pickaxe breaks. <laughs> two pickaxes broken. Fortune two lost. Oh, God. Oh, wow, we got a level up already. Okay. All right, we definitely have to go back home and get a new pickaxe because this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. Uh, we did get a ton of netherite while we were down there. So, what does that mean? Yeah, we have enough to fully upgrade our gear. Oh my god. There is no way. Uh, we also need a glowstone. I kind of forgot about that one. No problem. We'll just quickly make one glowstone block. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing a glass block. Okay. Right? So we make that one. So then we need two more of these. And one will become a gold. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wait, hold on. Where's my diamond upgrades? The upgrade we put in this one? That makes this... Oh, it adds an armor point! Oh my god. Okay. What does this add? It adds a little bit more durability, I think. I think that's it. Yeah. And if we make it into emerald, then... What does that add? A little bit more durability, it looks like. But that looks like it's... that. That's it. All right. There we go. I'd gotten my first armor upgrades, and it was time to start working on my storage facility. I made the first basic interface, and I quickly realized it didn't have the crafting table. So the next step was obviously making the crafting terminal. This would allow me to craft items straight from the not enough items menu. After that was set up, I had to create a couple of chest upgrades, because having this Storage facility is only going to work if I have a ton of storage. After that, I went to do a quick dive on one of the nether fortresses because I wanted to get my last needed wither skull. That way we could fight the wither in the near future. I also made sure that I found some of these nether reeds that would allow me to make nether ruby items, which I really needed a better pickaxe and I thought that was going to be the way. I also looted up this piglin facility that had a ton of loot, including a legendary bow, which was pretty cool. And I then bounced to this forest where I chainsawed a tree, or should I say a whole forest, because holy, that was a lot of logs. And after my chainsawing adventure, I fought another one of these nether gauntlets. Now, I knew for this one that we'd have to, well, pretty much grind him down like a ton. Just look at it. This is sped up 800%. This guy can take a beating. So make sure you've got adequate gear and you deal a ton of damage or you have the freeze. Because otherwise this is just going to take way too long. It even took me way too long. And we are we're pretty stacked up, I have to say. After killing the nether gauntlet, I was about ready to mine the ancient debris when I realized I only have an iron pickaxe. So I had to quickly return to the base and I had to create myself a nether ruby pickaxe. Now the cool thing about this nether ruby is that it has an inherent obsidian breaker affinity. So this thing can mine obsidian fairly quickly. Back in the nether I mined up the ancient debris that the nether gauntlet dropped and I was about ready to go back home because there were some extra things that I had to do now. And that was reforging my gear which requires a full netherite ingot. So yeah, big tip, if you want to make yourself nether armor, 
Make sure you reforge it when it's still diamond. The next item on the list was making a better enchanting setup and actually forging these diamond legendary boots into the netherite variant. I stored them away in my backpack because I still needed to have the enchantments in order to actually make them into good boots. And that's where these special tomes of scrapping come into place. But for that we needed a lot of extra Eterna, Quanta and Arcana, which means that we need to upgrade our enchanting setup. I then quickly went over the quests that I had completed, and one of them being the Nether Gauntlet, which gave me another Netherite ingot. I then checked which kind of shelves that I would need, and it seems that we need Sea Shelves and Hell Shelves in order to actually get the required Eterna and Quanta. I then tried to do some reforging of my beautiful Storm Glaive, and yeah, well, the video speaks for itself. We have, we have two more. We have two more rerolls. Is this worth it? I don't think it is. Oh, no. Oh, I'm an idiot. I am such an idiot. Why did I do that? No. So yeah, as you can see, my YouTuber luck struck me again and we wasted all of those runic tablets to get a common glaive. So I searched the closest spot with a ton of pillagers and decided to take out my wrath on these unsuspecting enemies. Now I also wanted to loot up the place and this proved to be a little bit more difficult as these type of pillagers will stack a frost debuff onto you that slows you down and even damages you. I did manage to farm them into a hallway, and setting them on fire actually lowered their frost against me. So, it was kind of a two-in-one deal. I also got a ton of levels from these guys, because I farmed them for quite a while. And I went on to explore a little bit more. Yeah, I killed every single one of them there, so there's nothing else left in that pillager camp. My wrath was clenched. Quenched. Quenched, like in thirst, quenching, quenched thirst, you, you know what I mean. I then found an ice maze, but sadly for me when I checked my map, it was only literally a couple of pixels on the map that was an ice maze. So there was no ship for me to loot and nor no Cornelia to be found. I did manage to find a sort of tower before getting submerged into the quick snow, as I call it. It's not quicksand, but quick snow. And I found a ton of bookshelves. Now, in order to actually get our enchanting setup be a little bit beefier, we needed some extra books. And I also wanted to see what these magical bookshelves do. Maybe they gave a little bit of extra arcana. Yeah, and those are mana leeches. They will suck the mana out of you. I also found a meteor that had struck the earth, and it appeared to me that I could mine inside of it. I found a very strange looking block that gave me some otherworldly technology. This was some alien techware, man, I'm telling you, I didn't even know what it was. In my travels, I also found another mending book, which I put on my Stormglaive. I was eventually going to reroll that thing a little bit better, and I wanted to get a legendary, or by the time you get the update, the mythic variant. And I abused the cave system maybe a little bit in order to find a couple of dungeons to loot up to get the said runic tablets. And in the meantime, I noticed that I had three wither skulls, so it was time we fought the Wither. Now, I was still a little bit iffy if we could take this Wither on, but I was pretty sure that we were stacked up enough. Seeing as we already killed a Nether Gauntlet, I don't think the Wither is going to be much more of a challenge than that guy. The only thing I gotta worry about is the phase in which he is ranged, which is probably going to be bad, seeing as we don't have that crazy of a bow. And my fear was very soon affirmed when I saw that this guy did barely lose any health when I shot him with the bow. But I stayed persistent. I didn't let my morale get down. I had finally gotten him down a little bit, and that's when I noticed that if I stay in the water, I can deal more damage without getting knocked back and missing less shots. So I got him down to under half of his health, and he started to come into melee range. My health was dropping, so I ate my eternal steak, and then I swam up to swing him with my glaive. He regenerated health above 50%, so I had to shoot him a couple of times in his face, 
and that's when he came down. And the moment he came into contact with my Thunder Glaive, it was over for him. He got frozen into the water and I sliced his body apart. Just look at the raw DPS that this Storm Glaive is given. And just like that, the Wither went down. And we got a couple of really cool items. But first, I had to return to my base, store away some loot, and I checked what all of his drops would do. Now, the Shard of Uncertainty didn't do anything, it seems like. So that was kind of strange. I also got a Lord Soul, which seems to be part of the Smell of Decay questline. Um, which will allow us to create a couple of items, but I think we have to progress the quest line first. Now, lastly, but not least, we had a Nether Star. And first, I checked what the Lord Souls does. And you can actually make some pretty cool items with this. Might be worth it to look into these weapons. Now, the Wither Star... Nether Star, Wither Star, what am I saying? The Nether Star is actually really interesting because you need it to make the Awakened Lich Blade. You can make a very special chest with it. Of course, the beacon. Everybody knows that one. But one thing really caught my eye in all of this. And that was this crossbow that requires not one, not two, but three Nether Stars. And it has a 1.1 second pull time and a 15 range damage. Now, having a taste for boss fighting, I decided I wanted to fight the Night Lich next. This thing had to go down. So I went out to the furthest point I had explored to, and I blasted one of these soul stars into the atmosphere. This would indicate which general direction the Lich King would be at. I did lose that first soul star, but my journey began to find the Night Lich. And it wasn't going to be an easy journey. It was also not going to be an easy boss fight, but I was prepared and I left a path of death and destruction in my wake. I'm actually just grinding to get skill points, but that just sounded way too dramatic and cool, so I had to say it. But having another skill point meant we were a little bit more tankier and I was spending my skill points into health. I also decided to raid up one of these undead dungeons because I of course needed to get one more soul star. You need four soul stars in order to fight the Night Lich. That's when I ran across this griffin, which was a rather awesome pet, even if I say so myself. But I managed to tame the griffin, and I knew what I had to do. I had to bounce and go home immediately in order to find a saddle to ride this bad boy. Now, I looked at the Just Enough Items menu, and I noticed that you cannot craft the saddle. The first thing I did was visit this nether fortress because I knew from undead mobs these soul stars would drop. So I killed and I killed and I killed and I killed some more until eventually I got a soul star from a wither skeleton. This bumped me up to four soul stars and I continued my exploration to find the night lich. And traversing through the whole night in order to find this bad boy I kept killing mobs in order to get levels because we wanted to get much stronger. So we're going to use one now. It is showing in that direction. Oh, we got it back. I see it. I see it. It's right next to the pillager mansion. Really? I mean, this guy's supposed to be the first boss. We killed the nether gauntlet. So this guy should be piece of cake as well, right? All right, let's go back up. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like these guys. I heard him. Here he is. There you go. Totem of Illusion. There's another one? Another Totem of Illusion, I guess. I'm supposed to have... Here. Wards off negative status effects. What do you mean? Fucking blindness is a negative status effect. What's this ass shit, man? What do you mean? No! You gotta be kidding me, right? You gotta be kidding me! No, I didn't lose the star. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're good, we're good. Alright. Let's go. Where's this guy? Whoa! It turned night! There he is! What? How's he- He's fucking flying! Oh god! He's exploding everything! You stand no chance. I got smite on my weapon, dude. Hold on. Maybe I should take a golden apple in. Where is he?
Oh god, dude. What is this kind of war that I'm facing? Where is he? Where is he? I don't know where he is. I can hear him. Oh, there he is. What? He's invisible. Oh, when you come down, you are about to... You are about to have the worst day of your life. Oh my god! Come on. Oh, he went down, he went down, he went down. No, I missed him. I just missed him. I don't have the ranged capabilities to deal with this guy. And look at his damage. Yeah, I don't have the I don't have the ranged capabilities to deal with this guy. My bow is not that good. Look at him zipping through the air. I'm not no military sniper. How am I supposed to calculate that stuff, man? Come on. Oh, there's a there's a mutant creeper right there. Are you kidding me? There's no way. All right, it's uh it's a hidden dip right here. I'm starting to learn his pattern. Did you see that? I got like five hits in in a row. Okay, so we're about to push him into his next phase. Which I'm not really sure what that's going to do. It's probably going to be something scary. Oh, he starts spamming spells like a maniac. What do you got? Whoa, what, what is this? What do you have? 0% cooldown or something? Get away from me. Crazy maniac. Oh, God. I just want him to get into melee range. I'm telling you, once he does that, it's over. It's over. What the fuck? We are so far away from where the fight started. This is pretty crazy. I mean, I guess this is how a boss fight should go, right? I s oh, I ran out of arrows. There's no way I ran out of arrows. Oh, and my game just crashed. Okay. <laughs> Where'd he go? Over there. Ah, I see you. I see you. Ah, you like getting stuck in trees, huh? Come on, come on, come on. He's stuck in the trees. Ah. I liked you more when you were stuck in the trees, man. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, it's a 0% spell, spell reduction. Cooldown reduction. Crazy thing. No. I'm gonna use the tree to my advantage. Bastard. Oh no, I opened my inventory again. Is the game gonna crash again? Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Profile options. I got fucking 16 gigabytes of RAM allocated to this damn pack. What do you mean? There's no way the 01 error code is because there's not enough storage. There is no way. You wouldn't even believe. No, I opened my inventory again. It's gonna crash again, right? Yeah, yeah, it crashed again. There's something in my inventory that's making me crash. I don't know what it is. All right, so we are on crash numero tres. Gonna be really fun. Oh, I love boss fights like this where the game just completely crashes. Uh... Oh, I just got a notification. Helldivers 2 is ready to be played. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, we are back. Back in the game. Now, just go down easily so that I can fix my stuff. Dude, just die! There we go. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa, dude, guys, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? What is all of this? Sleep, pause, is this crazy? This guy dropped. Enchanted books. Now, knowing how some of these games go, him dropping enchanted books. Recycler 3? Whoa. Okay, I can do my inventory now. Wow, okay. I don't know what it was that was making me crash like that, but damn. Crazy. But it's a crafting recipe, right? To upgrade the crossbow to the uh, corrupted one? Yeah, it's a crafting recipe. Oh, yeah. I want to grind some Wither Skeletons, I think. We, I want to make that corrupted crossbow, dude. Void's invasion, by the way. Here we go. Fire rune, quartz traveler's backpack, enchanted golden apple. That's awesome. And now, because we killed the nether gauntlet, also we get a nether riding it. Here we go. Then it's time for the ender dragon. Sheesh. That is one mean ass looking ingot. Woo. Do we still got some? Uh, yeah, we still got some XP bottles. That should heal. 
Haha! <laughs> hey, I'm smart like that. I'm smart like that. Okay, here we go, lads. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That adds another armor point and another armor, to armor toughness point. This is good. Seven armor helmet. Look at that. Gnarly. That is gnarly. After having my helmet upgraded to that diamond netherite, I was feeling pretty good. I also added looting onto my storm's edge, and I added unbreaking and vein mining to a shovel. This was going to help me farm up a little bit more flint, as farming that one block at a time is just a terrible way to go about things. I also did some reforging on my royal longbow, and I managed to get a legendary roll on this one which gave me 30% extra range attack damage. That's nothing to scoff at. Back at the Nether Fortress, I wanted to get a couple more Wither Skeleton Skulls, but this was proving to be a little bit more difficult than I originally thought it was. After killing a ton of Wither Skeletons, I went back to my base because I found a very interesting item. I found one of those Sapphire Upgrades. So I stored that away for safekeeping until I found a couple more. And then it was on to making my sea shelves. These were the shelves that would allow me to get the infusions onto the Tome of Extractions. But for that, I needed a little bit more resources. One of the things that I also needed to do was I needed to make a ton of enchanted books, which means that we need to go and grind a little bit of lapis. I had another lo-fi mining session, and when I returned back home, I had Richard's Abundant. I stored everything away and I started melting down all of the raw materials that I mined up. Having about two stacks of lapis, I started enchanting away at these golden helmets. Now I was going to do a rinse and repeat of enchanting random helmets, then taking the enchantments off with tomes of extraction, and I repeated this process a couple of times, because having a diamond laced netherite helmet was going to be my ticket to absolute tankiness. Having so many enchantments extracted off of these random helmets, I would be able to put all of them on one single helmet, which was going to be absolutely crazy. 48 levels, but look at all of those enchantments. <laughs> this is one insane helmet, man. Legendary Netherite Diamond Helmet of Icy Thorns Mending Prot Prot. Well, projectile proc, poison focus, respiration, aqua affinity, blast protection, magic protection, bag of souls. Eh, that's gonna be gnarly. That's gonna be gnarly. After looking at that helmet, I felt it. We were going to become the strongest being in this universe. Now, in order to get my seashells going, I went back to that ocean pyramid I found at my neighbor's village. This had a ton of these prismarine bricks, which I can turn into prismarine crystals using a grinder from Tech Reborn. This grinder was not all that difficult to make, but we were lacking a couple of different materials. Now, I mined up a little bit of extra prismarine bricks in order to have some spares so that I wouldn't run out that easily. And to make our seashells, we needed puffer fish. And funnily enough, you can actually craft them. So I immediately set out to gather up those crafting ingredients one of them being the bamboo. So I took my axe and I chopped this bamboo forest down completely. I then went swimming with the fishes and I was the only one that returned because I needed some cooked fish in order to make the puffer fish. After having those ingredients, I also managed to find a buried treasure map and this was a good find because later down the road we are going to need a heart of the sea. So it was nice to keep that one just in case. I then made 10 puffer fish, which I needed also 10 bottles of water for, and after that I was able to make the prismarine shelves, or seashelves as they are called. These seashelves are better than a regular bookshelf because they add a little bit of arcana to your stats of your enchanting table. They also have a little bit of extra eterna, so I took out 10 basic bookshelves and I was going to replace these with the 10 hell shelves that I just crafted. After placing down my 10 seashells, I wanted to check on the stats, how we were looking. My Eterna was up pretty high, the Arcana was just a little bit too low, and the Quanta was way too low. 
Now, in order to actually make these infused tomes of scrapping, we require at least 25 arcana and 30... 25 quanta and 35% arcana. The Eterna we were good on, but I needed some extra hell shells or seashells. Now, you might be wondering why do I want to make those special tomes of scrapping? Well, it's very easy. The infused tome of scrapping can take off all of the enchantments from an item, but destroy the item in the process. The regular tomes of scrapping only take off half of the enchantments. So if I ever want to make a new gear set, I will need these infused shell infused books. I then set out to the forest in order to find some rubber trees because I needed the tech reborn machines to get myself that prismarine back. Now in the forest, I was able to use a wooden tap and chop down any of those rubber trees. The first thing I needed to work towards was an extractor. This was going to allow us to extract rubber from anything the rubber tree drops. But for that, we needed lead. And I did not have the lead from Tech Reborn. So that meant we had to go mining. Because there was no other way to get the lead. And in the mines, so I did. I mined all of the interesting ores and most importantly, I mined a ton of the Tech Reborn lead. In the process, I also managed to find myself something interesting. This is called Gleaming Powder. Now, a little bit later, we'll figure out what this Gleaming Powder does, but it's really strong. I also made sure to mine the Verglass Ore that I found, which is part of the Souls-like Weapon Request line. Now, at the base, I checked if we had any Furnace upgrades that were available to us for crafting, but they weren't. Checking out on the Gleaming Powder, I found out that you can actually make a couple of very interesting items with these. Items that will boost your stats or grant special effects. Now, one of the most important things was you had this mossy necklace that gives regeneration too when in light. Now, this required us to have eight gleaming powder, but you have other items that give fire resistance and most importantly, this arm extender that gives you two reach and two attack reach. It does require two netherite ingots and a gleaming gem, which is four gleaming powder. So it is rather difficult to get it, but it will certainly be worth it. I then first made my generator and I started working on expanding my automated furni. Furni is still the right way to say it, right? It sounds weird to say furni instead of furnaces. Oh, well, we'll roll with it. I then was able to make three furni setups that would automatically smelt all of my items I had mined up. Now the cool thing was I did a little bit of decorating and I made my furnace setup. So we now had a storage terminal and we had a furnace terminal. Now for my storage system I also upgraded a lot of the chests to copper and I wanted to get a little bit of iron upgrades going as well. So after those iron upgrades my storage facility was looking pretty fly and I had gotten a lot of extra free spaces. I then made my generator, which was going to be my base item that we need in Tech Reborn. I also made a little stairway that would lead up to the forest above my cave, and that way I could plant a couple of rubber trees and have a sort of steady rubber income going. So I managed to put a little bit of extra dirt and make this place a little bit flat, I then planted a couple of rubber saplings and I would let them grow. After melting down a little bit more rubber, I was able to make the extractor as well. This extractor I was going to hook up right next to the generator and this had just enough energy to start extracting the rubber from the rubber logs. I then smirked up the place a little bit better and I had a couple of additional rubber saplings that I needed to plant. After doing so, I was able to make my first set of copper cables. These are the cables that allow you to transfer energy between blocks. So I hooked up the cables and I made the extractor at the end of the cables. Now I made the cables branch out one on each side. So I would have a couple of extra places to put down some new machines. And talking about new machines, I wanted to see what different kinds of machines that this tech reborn has in store for us. Now, one of the interesting things was this MFE, which is an intermediate tier energy storage. It's quite important to also be able to store energy, so we needed to get into that at some point. The other machine that I made was the grinder. This was going to allow us to, for example, put in gravel and make 
flint from gravel. Now, the first thing that I did with the grinder was I put in some prismarine blocks in order to get back prismarine crystals or prismarine shards. I then checked on my buried treasure map because we needed to go and collect that heart of the sea. So I set out exploring and funny but true, this thing was actually very close to my base and it was very easy to spot. So there we go. We had acquired a heart of the sea. We also managed to find some digging claws, a diamond and a couple of extra ingots. After returning to the base, I knew I had to go back to the nether in order to try and find a couple of tears. We needed gas tears in order to make the hell shelves, but ghasts seem to be a very rare mob in the nether. The only problem that I had was when I found one, it was hovering above the lava all the time. Now, while I was looting up one of these piglin towers, I actually managed to find a pretty crazy item. I found, of course, the netherite scrap is pretty crazy, but most importantly, this is superstitious hat. This would apply an extra level of looting to mob drops, which means we are running looting four right now. I also found this weird fella. This is a forlorn. Now, I didn't know it at the time, but when I killed it, it dropped its pants and these pants are already stronger at rare than my epic netherite iron pants. So these forlorn have some pretty crazy armor values, I gotta say. My quest for my gas tears, however, left me in abyss because I could not find a gas to save my life. So I just mined up some reeds and I decided to pretty much call it a day. So I plunked my waystone down and we returned home promptly. I did, however, promptly return to the nether because I just couldn't keep my killing spree suppressed. I was just unable to do so. Remember that corrupted crossbow? I really still wanted that. So I farmed up so many, so, so many wither skeletons. But I didn't manage to get a lot of wither skeleton skulls, which was sad. I did, however, get another skill point and upgrade my movement speed by 12%. And I kept on killing until I got pretty much sick of it. Uh, we only got one more with her skeleton skull and I left. I left. I was done with that for a bit. I was still on the hunt for some of these ghast tears. But the problem was that I just for the life of me could not find a single ghast. So back at the base, I decided on a different strategy. I was going to use the remains of the fallen enemies. Now, this was supposed to bump up my quanta to 30, and it did. So I just had to figure out a way to increase my arcana, and we should be good to go to infuse our superior Tomo Scrappy. Now, I did, however, make my knowledge of the ages 2 with the remaining Knowledge of the Ages 1 books that I had laying around, and I put it on the Lich Blade. This was probably not the best idea I had, but it was the only weapon that I really liked using in my arsenal that I had laying around, so I just transferred it onto there. I then took out a couple of enchanted items, so I could scrap them of their enchantments and put them on the Lich Blade. Now, I employed my super great cheats again to locate a couple of different dungeon crypts, this was a great place to get some basic supplies, to get runic tablets for reforging, and to kill a couple of mobs to get me a lot of levels. The surplus of this method, running these crypts, is that they also have a ton of amethyst. Now, I'll discuss the changes to the reforging later. For now, I was still playing on a version of the mod pack where you reforge using amethyst. So, I started my looting. And this Lich Blade is good, but it's quite slow in attacking. And as you can see right here, these chests, or sarcophagi, should I say, hold a ton of items, as well as a lot of corruption. The black, uh, valuable material you see is corruption. I'll tell you what that does later. For now, we are going to... Oh my god. We got another one of the awesome items, boys. This one is... Wow. Beautiful. I kept my looting spree going and look at all of this beautiful loot. It is just simply amazing what you can all find inside of this dungeon, honestly. One of my favorite places to loot up. And after that whole looting spree, as you can see, I got almost a stack of iron. I got some gold, some copper, and a lot of that black iron ingots. 
I'm not really sure what those do. I still don't because I kind of forgot about them. And back at the base, I made sure to make a netherite tier upgrade to the backpack. Which I couldn't use because I was going way too fast and I forgot to make the diamond one. And seeing as I ran out of diamonds, that one was out of the question right now. I put everything away inside of my backpack and it was time to go at it again. We got some pretty interesting stuff. There is a new update that just dropped into prominence. Well, I say just dropped, um, but I might have... I may or may not have been playing Helldivers for a full week and I got 90 hours on it. Uh, I may already be max level and I may already have maxed out my ship and my war bonds menu. Um, okay, the game is sick, guys. Come on. Honestly, for those of you who have played Helldivers, and special shout out for those of you and I, you know who you are, George and Keo mostly. Special shout out to you guys who joined the stream when I was doing uh, streams of Helldivers. I tried to announce it as best as possible, but I don't think I have that much of a reach. And I think people mostly know me for Minecraft, so <laughs> they're not really going to watch my other stuff. But anyways, it was a fun time streaming. It was a fun time having you guys in. So special shout out to you guys. You guys are my favorites right now. If you want to become my next favorite... Oh, dude, that's such a sellout. If you want to become my next favorite, make sure you join the stream and keep an eye on my socials. I'm over at X, I'm over at Instagram, and I'm over on TikTok. TikTok is more for the meme -y, bullshitty things. But anyway, uh, the new update of Prominence dropped. The reforging system got reforged itself. There is now a quest line, no more Amethyst. We're going to be using Limestone, Pyrite, and Galena instead of the original Amethyst. Now, it seems... This might just be because I haven't seen the latest rarity inside of Prominence yet. But it seems like we have a new rarity called Mythic. You need the Pyrite in order to do the legendary and en uh, legendary enchantments, I was going to say. Legendary reforges and you need the Galena in order to do the Mythic ones. That is as far as the new content goes. It seems like they did some balancing updates as well. Some patching through. A little bit of bug fixing, a little bit of adding for some music, although sadly we cannot play this with music because the chance of getting demonetized rises exponentially with having the original music in the game on. Um, here we go. Alright, so right off the bat you can see that the game screen is bigger than the recording screen. I changed some settings in order to live stream Helldivers 2. This, however, messed up some of the recordings of Prominence 2. Uh, I think this lasts until somewhere in the day 54 or 56. So we're going to be going through these next couple of days fairly quickly, highlighting only the very important stuff that happens. Just to save you guys some mental sanity, because I, for one, cannot look at this screen without having a seizure. So I don't think you guys are going to be able to watch the video without having a seizure. Alright, so that being said, let's go fast through these next couple of days until I fix the screen. Alright, that's been your boy Alabro. See you on the flip side. But one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to get this watching Warglaive. I want to transfer these enchantments over to the other one. This tome of scrapping. <gasps> no! No! It reset all my likes! Aw, oh, dude. Aw, oh, dude, I'm kind of upset with that. I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of upset with that. How much would a squid give me? Might have found a cheat code in the system. I have, I have. What? What? What in the world? These things give almost two levels at level 34. Oh my goodness. Squid go crazy. Squid go crazy. Wait, that doesn't infuse it. What am I missing? 35. That's what I'm missing. Because that adds 10 Arcana. Of course. Of course. I have the Heart of the Sea. I also have the Prismarine Shards, I believe. Or are they still inside of my grinder? Yes, they are. Hey, 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 hey. You're not welcome in my base. You are not welcome here. Cool. Go ahead and make a Heart forged shelf oh yeah uh so let's take out one of our bookshelves go ahead and place the heart forged shelf 
And then, if all goes well, still don't have infusion. Because we're only at 30 arcana. 30, 30, and 25. 22, 25, 35. Okay, so we're just missing the arcana. Nice. Infusion. Level requirement 51. 51? Hold on, is it because I have too many bookshelves up? Oh yeah. It literally is because I have too many bookshelves up. So this should be enough, technically. Yeah, it is. That gives me four of them? Whoa. Raw XP cost 13k. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. I'm level 87 now. Uh, <laughs> well, you guys want to keep coming and attacking me. I don't make the rules, man. Soul Star. Okay. Right, let's actually get out of here, dude. Uh, where do I have my portal set up? Or oh god. Oh no. Oh no, all my waypoints are gone. Oh, we are in trouble. Oh no. <laughs> um, updating my game also uh, disabled some checks on my waypoints. Now, I'm pretty sure I have a waystone in the closest nether fortress. So that's going to be this one, right? I'm pretty positive I've got a waystone over there. All right, we're going to try going there. Oh god, dude. Alright, now it's time to find where we put this damn waystone. Because I already forgot where we put this thing. I'm trying to remember. Where did I put that bad boy? Oh, I can see him. Alright, back at the base. And it is nighttime already. Look at that. Would you look at that? Finally, go ahead. Take that book off. Let's take out our watching Warglaive. Look at that bad boy. Would you look at that bad boy? Knowledge of the Ages 2. Unbreaking 3. Rampaging 3. Ambush 1. Looting 3. Prospector 3. Sharpness 5. So we have a couple of eyes already. Actually, Blazing Eyes is a different one. Yeah, I cannot count the Blazing Eye. Wait, don't I have the witch eye? Seriously? Oh, I also don't have a pupil. Oh. That can make sapphire ingots. Wait, hold on. What the fuck? Whoa. Sapphire. We should do some overworld exploration. Witches, jungles, deserts. I think those are from Greedy King that faded in solitude. Infinite fortune to its owner. Forged by the first blacksmiths of time. Oh, this one you can craft. Just some corals, which is silk touch. Two conduits. That's two hearts to the sea, though. We're gonna get into that later. Uh, okay, so jungle, desert, and witch. That is what we will firstly be doing. Wait, is he waiting? Oh, God. What do you want from me, dude? Oh, you... No, you didn't. I, ref I refuse that. I refuse that. <laughs> you ain't not getting me killed today. No, no, no. For those who have played a mod pack with those kind of guys in it, yeah. If you don't trade with them, I believe... They will summon a whole magical army to fight you. So you really don't want that happening. At the base, I also made one of those biome locators. And I also had a structure compass that I could make. And luckily for me, I had a lot of corruption from those dungeon runs. So I was able to trade them in for the cobwebs that I needed to make the structure compass. 
Now, the structure compass is going to be one of the best items you can make in this mod pack. It allows you to locate any structure that is in the game. It's a it's a life hack. Make this thing ASAP, like as soon as possible. You can locate anything with it. So for me, that was going to be jungle temples, desert pyramid, and a witch hut. I needed those three eyes the first and the soonest as possible. I also made a lot of copper upgrades that I used to expand on my storage facility. I had a lot of normal remaining chests that I still needed to upgrade. And I also decided to add a little spice to the remaining chests because I also went ahead and I made some iron and gold upgrades. So my storage facility was looking pretty fly right now. We were dealing with like 50% of the storage in gold. Wow. That is cool. I don't know what the fuck this is, but it's awesome. Look at that. Wow. All right, while we're looking for this jungle temple, how was your guys' day been? Tell it down in the comments below. I want to hear how you guys' day's been. Doing no good at school? You doing good at work? Did you get that promotion? Did you ace that exam? Well, if you did, and even if you didn't, smash that like button below. <laughs> Go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Man, that's such a bad sell on the subscribe. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do genuinely hope you get that promotion and you pass your tests. Honestly. <laughs> People are going to think I'm an asshole. That is actually a revamped jungle temple. Look at that. Looks pretty cool. Not going to lie. That does look pretty cool. I want the eye, mostly. I want the damn eye. Where's the damn eye, man? It's like this whole place is trapped to oblivion. There's like nothing here. What the? I mean, there's one more room over here. I guess that's it then, right? Yeah, there is. Oh. 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 That really is the way to do it. Oh my god. Bone leggings. Whoa. I, mean, I don't think I really need any of that. Oh shit. What? There's no eye. You know what I mean? Like, there's no eye. Where do we find the eyes then? It's kind of crazy. Maybe I just didn't get lucky on this jungle temple. That is definitely also a possibility. Mine shafts we can find as well. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go ahead and try and find one of these. Because I want to go to the end. So we can finally make some of this crazy mythic affixed gear. We got a mythic affixed weapon, dude. Mythic affixed armor. Oh, yeah. Mythic affixed bow. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. What's going on over here? Are you guys seeing this? I'm not going crazy, right? There's supposed to be an island over here. Let's go ahead and see what is up in this sky island. Not really sure what this is all about. I've already built up a hundred blocks. Wow! There really is something up there, but it's really high up. Whoa, this is... We are on uncharted land, boys. We do not know what is going to be up there. Cursed Island. Whoa. That's an altar. Wow. It is done. It has corrupted his soul and nearly mine as well. All those innocent lives we took, all these poor people. Whatever evil we thought we were fighting, it took control of our minds, our bodies, we became the evil we sought to destroy. 
and I couldn't save him. <laughs> it was too late. The corruption reached his heart and turned my master, my friend, into this thing. There was no other way. My mind became clear. The fog was gone. Only for a fraction, but enough to realize the madness we succumbed to. I took his staff while he was resting and turned it against its own master. I turned against my master. And with all my remaining power, I spoke the dark words he taught me. A curse so strong no creature can resist. I entombed his soul into stone and still his corruption, corruption, still his corruption, sapped into the ground and turned the stones dark gray. Fissures appeared, leaking the enslaved souls of our innocent victims. To prevent and to stop the spread of his madness, I lifted this unholy place out of the world on an island high in the sky, far away from any lives it may lay its greedy eyes on. With every entombing sigil I put upon his prison, I felt more of my older self and strangled. It's still familiar. I broke the staff into three pieces and hid them in a the place of our greatest shame. The destroyed homes of our friends we swore to protect when they needed us the most. Instead we turned against them, slaughtered them, thinking we protect them. I am disgusted by the mere thought of it. My cruelties may never be undone, and I think there is no much life left in me. The bane took its toll, and I accept its consequences. To you who might read this, stay away from the cursed ground. It holds only sorrow and woes. Right. That's kind of cool, dude. So, what's up with this? Can we, like, fight this thing, or uh, what are we going to do here? We can't mine it. You also can't really mine that. <laughs> I know, I know the guy and his master, like his friend, fought for a lot of the things. But what if we grab some corruption? What if we just go uh, overload that thing with corruption? It should spawn something then, right? I also can't right-click any of this to put the corruption on it. Right. What is this place, man? Um, we have a waystone here now anyway, so that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the base. Let's take a nap. And then let's go ahead and take down that guardian that I saw in the distance. So we might find ourselves our... What is that going to be? Seventh eye, I'm guessing? Yeah, that should be the seventh eye. Wait, this is not a guardian place. What the fuck? Dude, I got all excited for nothing. Is that an underwater village? Whoa! That is a ginormous pyramid. Oh, wow. Dude, that thing is massive. Could you guys just, like, leave me alone for, like, a good minute or two? I'd really appreciate that. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we're just... Just gonna cheat a little bit. I don't want to be dealing with all the puzzles and spending all night in here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wow, it is super dark. Oh, God. Ah, oh, we found it! A couple of guards here, though. Wow, look at this health! Wait, eternal slumber? Slay the pharaoh! Wait, I kill the pharaoh? Really? Okay. Ah, here's the chest. Wait, no eye? No eye, really? Pyramid, jungle pyramid. You are... No. No, I will not deal with you. Might, I might take care of him. I might have to. Yeah, I might have to. Hmm. He's in a bad position right now. Okay, that did spawn his whole entourage. 
They got magic damage, though. I don't think I have magic protection on everything. I need to work on that. Alright, for shits and giggles, let's check. No. 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 I don't have magic protection on any of my gear. See, that's why I don't want to deal with those guys just yet. Cause I feel like that's gonna that's gonna be that's gonna be trouble. Yeah, that's just gonna be trouble, man. Alright, so there's gonna be an uh ocean monument here. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Alright, there we go. We got a heart of the sea from that one. That's good. That is good. But no eye. No. A lot of sea loot, though. So that's kind of cool, I guess. So there's another Elder Guardian over here. See? That one. I do want to go take down that one. I've looted the chest. I've got the Elder Guardian here and here. Come on, there's no way I don't get the eye, right? After three kills? Boom, down you go, buddy. Yeah, there we go. We got it. We got it. He was keeping axolotls as pets? Damn, dude. That's morbid. Alright, let's go. We're gonna we're gonna have to speedrun this bad boy. Let's blast through this. It's only just a couple of traps that are in this one. This one's fine. It's the desert one that's a pain in the butt. Oh wow. Does that instantly kill you? No, 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 it doesn't. Why did I even test that out? <laughs> if that was gonna instantly kill me, this run would be over. I don't know why I tested that out. Ah, here we go. Yes! Yes! We got it! The rogue eye! That's two out of the three, man! Awesome! Oh, I just dropped down some poison. I mean, poison doesn't really bother me. Gotten the guardian eye, the rogue eye. We'll need to transform these hearts of the sea into conduits in order to make the exotic eye. The old eye we are on right now. The exotic eye will go here. This eye is from... Uh, what was it again? The pillager outposts. Then I just need one more eye. This eye is from enchanting. We can get that one. I'm 100% sure. 100% positive we can easily get that one. Actually, really good. Doesn't really matter what enchantments we get, to be honest. Swift footed. Hellstrider. Uh, we did get magic protection. So I'm putting that onto my boots. Yep. Magic and fire protection. These are some gnarly shoes, man. I'm telling you. These are some... These are some sick... Sick looking Nikes, man. I'm telling you. Got the drip. Got the drip on me. To push back the Void's invasion. Look at that. The Ender Dragon. After the Ender Dragon, it's back to the Nether to fight the Blackstone Golem. After the Blackstone Golem, we have to head to the prison to get the Conjunctivius. The reason why we need to wait with Conjunctivius is because we need magic protection for this one. After that, we also have to get the Fallen Icon. And then it is back to the end for the last two bosses. So, I want to get... Yeah, I want to focus on a couple of the main bosses for now. Blackstone Golem is fine. I think we can take that guy. Before, wait, we, we're going to take the Ender Dragon down. After the Ender Dragon, we're going to focus on getting full Mythic... Full Mythic Netherite Diamond. I mean, that sounds pretty good. We're just going to have to farm up a ton of Netherite before we can do that. We need, we're going to need it. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of Netherite. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to speed run through this. We need to get down. And we need to get to the Pharaoh Chambers ASAP. Let's go. 
really good. Ah, here we go. Pharaoh Chamber. You guys will be morsels of experience for my for my enchanting endeavors I will be conducting pretty soon. Ah, here we go. Now I got the haste. Really? Spell Infinity is pretty big, though. But no eye. Again. Come on. Is this not the place where we find an eye? Really? Yeah, that's better. All right, so what do we got going on over here? We've got the yellow eye. Here it is. Found in Desert Pyramid. 10% chance? Whoa. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Yeah, sure. We also got the 20% in mine shafts. These is the this one is the pillager outpost. That one we just got. We got the witch eye. That one we're gonna make. That's not too not too bad. That's Max Cleric, and this is Skeleton Horses. And that's the enchanting one. Right. Damn! Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Take out the Pharaoh first. There we go. I wish he would just drop the eye, to be honest. Well, as soon as you kill him, the debuff is gone. So I guess that is something. That's nice. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. No! What? Am I missing something here? I feel like I'm missing something. Silver. Tin. Silver. I'm not. Whoa! Oh my god! Wow! That looks cool. Topaz crystal? What? Oh my goodness! Whoa! That's insane! Oh, you can only get them from. Oh no! No! Topaz ingots. Oh, only from topazes. Wait, can we crush them somehow? No, we can't. Oh, dang. That's sad. I knew it! I knew it! No! It doesn't have it! Why? Check. Oh! No! Why? Where are these eyes, man? I'm telling you. These eyes are the bane of my exist existence. What, what are you holding? <laughs> that was too good. That was jokes. That was jokes. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh! No! Oh, come on! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I want space to move. I want space to move when those guys hit. Honestly. Oh, man, I really don't like you guys. You guys are annoying to another level. Alright, we're going in. We're going in. I am not gonna let myself be killed in my own base. You guys stand no chance against me. This is my base. This is my base. Step back. Hexblade Magister. You guys stand no chance. My base. Good stuff. Go ahead and take that knowledge of the ages off. Can we make it into its third level variant? No, it only goes up to two. Interesting. Um, I also cannot put Illager's Bane on it. I can put Anima Conduit on it. So that heals me for XP orbs. I'll take that. Pretty good. Alright, time to... Oh! Hello! Oh, it's one of these. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. These usually hold quite a bit of chests. 
So that's a pretty good find. Oh, wow. You look like a little bit of trouble, though. Sorry. What are you? Rascal? Whoa! Oh my god. Dude just... Dude just teleported like crazy. Yeah, man, I'm gonna start throwing a tantrum. Yeah, dude, nothing. Absolutely nothing. You gotta be kidding me. We're gonna look for the next mine shaft. On to the next one. What is that? Gleaming ore. Ooh, that's the really important stuff. Yeah. Okay, I legit only now just noticed that the video frame was off. Oh my god. <laughs> How did I ever get 2 million views on RL craft? I suck at this. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well, um, for those of you who are still watching, even though the frame was completely messed up, uh, first of all, thank you. Uh, second of all, I fixed it now, so we're good. Uh, and we're gonna continue on with this mine shaft. We're trying to look for the red eye. Oh my god, there's there's gonna be nobody left watching this, I promise you. Dude, that frame looked so messed up. Ain't no way any, anybody's gonna watch that. Oh! Night vision goggles? Hold on, that's actually pretty big. Yeah, that's actually pretty big. I'll take that. I want to make sure I'm absolutely geared right, because the last time I had to delete a world of like 25 days? Because that little sucker got to me in his lasering phase. I really did not like that. Let's go and get ourselves that red eye so we can move on to the pillager outposts. Here it is. You know I can spot those things from a mile away. Why is there no dang... What do you mean? What do you mean? Still no eye. Ah, here we go. Here we go. That's the one I was looking for. Alright, good. Good. I seem to also be lacking a waystone. Uh oh. That means we're gonna have to manually travel back. I don't think I'm looking forward to that. Just keeping it 100, Maji. Just keeping it 100. Keeping it 100. Uh, I guess we'll just immediately go for an outpost that is in the direction of my base. That sounds like a good idea. I at least secured the red eye, so we are one step closer to going to the end. The cheeky two iron ore. There we go. I'll take it. I'll take it. Back at the base, I'm also going to be upgrading my backpack finally to the netherite version. Alright, let's see. Pillager. Pillager outpost. These are just normal, right? Young's didn't revamp those. Yes. Those seem to be normal. Pillager outpost. Not found. Okay, so it is from another Choice Theorem's overhauled village. Um, maybe it's these these things. No. Uh, what about this? Oh God, ten thousand blocks, nothing. Also nothing. Let me check something again. Found in pillager outpost chests. Yeah, they are found in there. Wow, I found one ten thousand blocks away from here. Holy. Oh my goodness. Choice theorems. Is it that one? Yes, it is that one. Alright. That is not in the direction of my base. Never mind. We're first going to the base. It's only a thousand blocks away. That should be fine, right? This eye goes inside. We have one craftable eye. We have the desert eye and the corrupted eye. And then we're done. Then we are done. We are going to be taking off our backpack. I... Maybe I want to take everything out. We are crafting with it, so... 
Might as well just um, make sure we don't miss this up. Diamond tier backpack? What does that change in size? Oh, wow. Gnarly. Gnarly. Look at that. Netherite tier back. Holy. That is insane. That is that is insane, man. I'm telling you. That is pretty insane. Wow. Okay, we got that now. Oh, it only goes up to four. There we go. Oh. Oh, oh there we go. Ooh, Twelve. Got Twelve waystones in the bag now. Sheesh. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and put some more gravel inside of that bad boy. Some more gravel. Here we go. Extractor going hard. Hard at work. Uh, we are going to take a nap because we were hard at work. We do... We... We do be going fast, though. We do be going real fast with this. So it might look stupid, but it really does work. And I think that's beautiful. And I think that is beautiful. So I'm kind of hoping that either we can find a rabbit's foot in the desert. We have looting three, so that should be no problem. Um, and then we can max out the Master Cleric, get that eye. We will- what the fuck is that? Bamboo Creeper. Crazy. Dude, that- <laughs> That looks really strange. Uh, so we're gonna get that eye, we're gonna get the eye from the Pillager Outpost now, and then we do the enchanting one. Although for the enchanting one, I'm probably going to need... Um, a little bit more Lapis. I'm pretty sure, at least. All right, so it is inside of the chests, so that is literally the only thing that I am interested in, is going up, getting the chests. Hold on. Come on, you gotta be kidding me, mate. Ah, here it is. We're good. Frostfall! We got it! That is another item. Holy. Nice. We do not have a rabbit's foot. We do have a ton of emeralds, so now we gotta go and find a cleric. Yeah, that's a cleric. Here we go. Ooh, actually, a little bit of redstone. Kind of nice. I'll take that. What do you got? What do you got? Lapis Lazuli. You've got a Lapis Lazuli. That is very good. Oh, oh, it's all... Right, okay. Come on, my boy. Ah, oh, dang. We ran out of trades. She. So now this guy has to sleep before he can get any other trades in. Okay. Ah, oh, see them. I see them. I see the rabbits. Here we go. Rabbit spotted. Wait, no, that's not a rabbit. Ah, oh, that's a baby one. That's not gonna give me anything. Is that the only one? Looks like it. Yes. Rabbits spotted. 12 o'clock. They're small ones. Really? Yes! We got it! We got it! We got it! Wait. Got a lucky rabbit's foot? What is that? You make... You brew potions with that? Really? Yeah, just take my money. Alright, give me the trade. Give me the trade. Yes! Why can I not trade it? What? What do you mean? Bruh. Are you kidding me? Dude, no. What? Why am I unable to trade you that? Alright, come on, master. Master. Cleric master. Here we go. Why am I unable to trade this? What? This is making no sense. This is making no sense. 
What? What am I supposed to do? What are you? Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Wait to make it difficult for me, buddy. Yikes. Really? Really, nothing? Alright, we're doing it different. We're gonna be doing it differently then. I have everything to make this eye. Besides the conduits and the glowing ink sacs. Ah, oh, damn, I need the glowing ink sacs. Let's try it. Um, you could also do it with the chemical reactor. Chemical reacting. Chemical? What is this? Chemical reactor. Whoa. Invar plates. Need to compress that stuff into an invar plate. Right. You need two extractors for that. Which we can easily make. One, two. Let's upgrade the chests a little bit further. Here we go. 43 chest upgrades. Uh, and we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I need 13 iron upgrades. Here we go. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade all of them to iron. Then we go and upgrade everything to gold. Nice. So that's just way more than I need. Let's just do it like that. I think 16 should be fine. I think 16 will be. No, I think I'm going to need a little bit more than 16. Oh, it's actually pretty close. Just the three extra. Here we go. So how are we looking on space? Pretty good. Pretty good. I have this type of invar. That's the one I have. We are pulling energy fast. Very fast. You have the four plates that I need. You can start doing the rubber again. Cool. And now we have the chemical reactors, so we can go ahead and take two ink sacks. Really? Right here. Look at that. Would you look at that? Ah, damn it. Part of the sea, buddy. Nice. Nice. Here we go. <laughs> All right. We are ballin'. We are ballin'. Wait. Oh, I just have enough with the last one that I looted. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Um, I still need the glowing ink sacs. Wait, that means I still need an ink sack. Wait, what am I doing? All right, here we go. I'll just gather up a couple extra ones just so I have them. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do so you need three ink sacks? Oh, yeah, then it starts working. Probably Young's. Yeah, Young's better stronghold. There we go. 397 blocks. Dude, this thing is in our backyard. Holy. That's amazing. We got a stronghold in our backyard, dude. What? No, it is, it is, it is. It's gonna add food reserves and magic protection five. There we go. Uh, and then we have a magic protection two and a magic protection two. All right, let's go. That's gonna add magic protection. Wait, we have a two on that one. No. Oh no, that is a two. Bumps it up to three. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, dude. We got another Magic Prop 5. Magic Prop 5. Magic Prop 3. And Magic Prop 2. We can take on Mind Cells. I am... <coughs> excuse me. I am 100... What? Wh huh? How did... You how did you end up here? 
What? How did you end up there? Huh? Let's go ahead and grab our glowing ink sacs. And let's create the last eye. Finally. What do you mean? Just do the coral. Hold on. I gotta do this manually now? Really? You're gonna actually make me sick. Oh my goodness. God damn. I don't even have Silk Touch. What? What? You're playing, dude. What? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Still gotta get Silk Touch? Are you kidding me? Nah. Nah, man. Cool, cool. I'll take it. Oh, we got a, we got a whole dragon in here. Wait, why can I not? There we go. We got a dragon? What? That's crazy, man. Ah, here we go. Nice. We got a fucking dragon. <laughs> Yo. No, it's not. What is this place? I really got no clue. Uh, it has some great loot, though. I know that much. That's definitely a fact. What is this place? Ooh. Flaked refreshment, rushdown. Free freezing three. Hold on, that's pretty good. Echo three, burning. Gnarly. It, it even goes down deeper. Hold on. I know I was looking for Lapis Lazuli, but this peak might... Oh, well, there's nothing here. Whoa, oh, there's Tungsten. We got some Tungsten. Food Wait, what does food reserves actually do? Ah, when you drink a potion. Right. Whoa! Whoa! Star's Edge. During the date, your attacks inflict an additional 3.2 damage. At night, your attacks gain lifesteal. On right click, evade backwards while backwards while gaining speed. Activate a second time to dash forward, gaining resistance and haste. Yo, that is dope. Hey, what about? Oh, uh, this is a two-handed one. Oh, it makes some cool noises. Yo, that is sick. That is so cool. After returning to my base, I actually managed to spring a raid upon my own castle. Well, I call it a castle, but it's more like a hole in the ground. But talking about the hole in the ground, this means I have a very disadvantageous position when it comes to being raided. Luckily for me, I had the gear to keep up with these pillagers. They stood absolutely no chance. I then managed to also do a ton of enchanting. But sadly, in my first spree, I didn't get the enchanting eye. So I went at it again and started enchanting even more. I also made sure to upgrade my pickaxe to the fully maximum potential it could, and I did some more enchanting. Which still left me with no eye, even after enchanting deep into day 60. Unbelievable. I had to call it quits after that for a little while. And we're back. I say back, but it's still the same video. <laughs> Alright, time to go ahead and collect ourselves the last remaining item. But I do remember seeing an underwater village. Oh, dang, I should have really tagged it on the map, shouldn't I? Oh, look at that. Ooh! That's nice. Smite, Nether Fireball, Silk Touch, Silk Touch, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll take it. Here we go. Silk Touch pickaxe. On to... Is it this one? To go and get ourselves a little bit of blue, blue coral. We only need one. We only need one and we're done. Here we go. This is the one. Got it. I'll also put a waystone here so I can go back and have coral whenever I need. We have everything to make our last eye. Here we go. Wait, actually, let's clean up my inventory a little bit. Let's go ahead 
And let's check our compass, which is still locked onto the stronghold. And let's go. All right, about 70 blocks. Dude, this thing is going to be right underneath the village over here. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Down into the depths of the abyss we go. Here it is. This is it. Oh. We just fell completely into it. Wait. This is huge. Whoa. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay. Nickel data storage chips. Whoa. This is some crazy stuff. I guess I'd be mostly looking for like either. Oh, wow. Wax Weaver. Unique effect. Attacking ignited enemies grants you strength and haste. When you would die, you are instead imbued with regenerative wax, healing you to full and granting you resistance for a short time. This effect can only occur once every 60 seconds. Main hand only. Whoa. How does this look? Whoa. This looks cool. Twisted Blade, another one. Chance on hit to increase your attack speed, stacking up to five, 15 times. One right click consumes all stack, gaining strength for a duration equal to the amount of stacks consumed. Whoa. The End, forged by survivors of a doomed expedition to the end. This blade is twin. And it's twin. The beginning carry dark secrets. Wow. Runic tablet, so we can find them in here. Kind of nice. Now we gotta find. Oh, this is just the upstairs. I see. Well, we'll have to go ahead. Oh. There's even an upstairs to the upstairs. I would very much like to think so. Yes, we do. The Soul Keeper. Chance on hit to absorb nearby souls, toughening and slowing the attack speed of the wielder. On right click, release the souls, transferring the attack speed debuff to nearby foes and regenerating the wielder. I mean, it's not too exciting, but it is another weapon. If I loop around here, yes, we found it. All right, we are going to be getting rid of these blocks. Oh yeah, of course we can't. <laughs> uh, we're going to place a waystone over here, which is the stronghold. I am going to be taking out my ender pearls. Well, that's going to be for in a second. First, we're going to insert all of the eyes. Wait, this frame already has an eye. Does that mean I don't need all 12 of the eyes? You have to be kidding, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. There were three eyes that I didn't need. You have to be joking. Yeah, there were three eyes I didn't need. Oh my goodness. We could have gone so much earlier. Okay. Anyway, we are going to jump in. We're immediately going to try to get to the main structure of the end. Or replacing a waystone. So we have two ways of escaping inescapable doom. We're good, we're good. Here we go. Gotcha. What is that? Block of amethyst crystal. Why not? Ah, here we go. Here he is. Oh, we're gonna have to deal with that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that. Alright, that's one down. Whoa. Whoa, did you see what just happened there? I think we should be fine with this one. There we go. Got that one. Oh, it happens every time you explode a crystal. That way we can go and collect some of that dragon's breath, because we're going to need quite a bit of it. I'm going to keep it real with you. I completely forgot about that. But I mean, it's fine. Honestly, here we go. 
102 sand. That should be more than enough. More than enough, right? Let's load up these coal ores and let's get that glass melting, boys. Get that glass melting. That is pretty good. Strength 2 and resistance. That is not bad as well. Oh! Black dragon wings. Black dragon wings. That's what I want. Sunfire. Chance on hit to regenerate health. Summon a righteous battle standard that ignites, damages, and slows enemy whilst periodically granting strength and health to friendly allies within the vicinity. Oh. Backpack for real warriors. Combines magmas, magma, cu magmas cube and squid's backpack abilities. Plus gives you strength and regeneration. You'll be invis invincible. But at what, what cost? I want that one. Dragon Traveler's backpack. Sheesh. Oh, he dropped some uh, dragon's breath. How kind of him. Oh, yeah. Wait, Ender Air Bottle? What is that? What does that do? All right, we're good, we're good. Ooh, and we get greeted with a bottle of Dragon's Breath. Nice. Very nice. All right, so all of the crystals are down. I think we are good to go. Come on, Dragon, let's tango. Let's tango. Seems like he's got a pretty good AI, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, my boat really doesn't do that much damage. We're gonna have to rely on our melee damage, I'm pretty sure. Wait, what? There's still a crystal over there? Ah, that really did not do anything. Gotcha. Alright, let's go and get some Enderman. There's like not a single Enderman over here. Oh no, I didn't get it. Yeah, I actually didn't get that one. What? Very strange. Wait, that one's regenerating as well. Wait, do they respawn? It seems like they respawn. Yeah, it just seems like they respawn. What? You have to be kidding me. I gotta do this to every single tower. I'm done with this game. This fight alone is gonna take me three days. What do you mean? As if these towers aren't annoying enough already. Now I gotta modify them so I can shoot them down even more easily. J Jesus Christ. I think this is just the most challenging fight I've had to do so far. I'm gonna be real happy when this is over, man. I'm gonna be real happy when this is over. I'm gonna put some music in the background, dude, just to vibe with this, because this is gonna take two days. I'm telling you. It's gonna take two days. Wait. Technically speaking, if I put blocks on top of it, it can't spawn it anymore, right? Or does it spawn on normal blocks as well? I actually don't know about that one. Those don't have any crystals anymore, so I think it does work like that. Regardless, I'll just... I'll just get this fixed ASAP. I will employ both tactics in order to liberate the end from the Void's troubles. Nope, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I repeat, it doesn't work. It just destroys the fucking block. No, it doesn't even destroy the blocks. What? I'm telling you, locked in, man. Locked in. Absolutely locked in. I will take your crystals down in a heartbeat now. Everything is set up. Look at this. First shot. Boom. Boom. You're dealing with Legolas here, dude. Boom. That's another one down. Boom. Wait, hold on. This needs to be a little bit higher. What? There you go. Boom. Range is so high. Maybe I really should get a better bow. 
before attempting this. Yeah, let's go do that. I'm done. I'm done dealing with this pain. We're gonna get a better bow first. I got an idea. I got an idea. All right, I got an idea. Here, 1.1 second pullback. Dynamo. It's a burst crossbow, what we made before. Two nether bricks and three nether stars. Let's do that. Let's go for that. Yeah, let's go for that. We need... I don't think I have nether stars anymore. No, I think I used my nether star. We have three wither skeleton skulls. We only need six more. We only need six more wither skeleton skulls. That's easy. That's easy, dude. We're gonna go for that. And so I quickly went to the bastion that was right next to my base, and I farmed up six Wither Skeleton Skulls. Now, this looting force setup did make it really easy. It did not take a long time at all. I still had three other Wither Skeleton Skulls remaining at home, and I also took some Soul Sand. I then went deep into the mines to fight this Wither on equal footing. I didn't want this guy to be flying around everywhere, so a cave system would be a much better way to fight this guy. He would just come up to me, get stuck on the roof, and I could instantly melee him. And this strategy was actually working pretty good. This guy started to take a lot of damage compared to when I was shooting him with my bow. So that was awesome. After quickly dispatching of the first wither, we also leveled up, and I immediately killed the second one as well. This one went down even faster. And then of course we had to hit the magical number three and I killed my third wither. This way we had the three nether stars in order to finally make my awesome crossbow. This was going to be one bad boy. So I put in the string and I just needed two more nether bricks. I cooked those two nether bricks up and I put all of the ingredients together and made the corrupted crossbow. This bad boy has a 1.1 second pull time, but I got it in common. Which is of course something typical that happens to me. Now luckily for me, I still had some pyrite, and reforging this guy takes only an iron ingot as a base material. Something inside of me was really afraid that you'd have to use nether stars to reforge it. But after only two reforges, I managed to get an epic, but I went for the gamble. I wanted a legendary. So after two more reforges, I got the legendary bow. Crossbow, actually. So now we just had to enchant this bad boy up and we could then go and fight the Ender Dragon. Now I first started by grinding a little bit of experience in the nether because I thought that Wither Skeletons would drop a lot of items, which means that they get turned into experience from my knowledge of the ages. This, however, didn't work exactly as I intended. Now, in order to put my base enchantments from my bow onto my crossbow, it would take me a general 28 levels. Which was no big problem, but sadly for me, the infinity and the power got lost while getting those enchantments over to my crossbow. I then spent a little bit of time perusing through my enchanted books, and I actually managed to find a crescendo of bolts. This is an enchantment that will make it so your crossbow has ammo. You reload it one time and your crossbow can shoot four times, which is pretty insane. It is one of the staples of the best crossbow enchantments. So I put the crescendo of bolts onto my crossbow together with a piercing one, and my crossbow was already pretty powerful, but I felt like we could do much better. So I went to the end because there are so many Endermen. In the end, I thought this would be a great way to farm up some experience. That didn't go fast at all, so I went back to the overworld, and I remembered that I once killed a squid, and it dropped a ton of levels. And lo and behold, when I killed my first squid, I got a solid two levels out of the bad boy. So, you already know what I did for the next couple of minutes, and I grinded levels until there was no tomorrow. After that, I decided to max level enchant, or at least with my current setup, max level enchant a ton of crossbows. I was going to scrap all of the enchantments and keep the crossbows that had new enchantments on them. And I ended up sparing four crossbows, which means that I should have all the enchantments that are humanly possible 
that I will put on this corrupted crossbow. This was a big endeavor, and I was able to get two of the crossbows scrapped before I ran out of levels. So back to my beautiful squids it was, and I kept grinding experience until I could scrap all of the enchantments. After that I decided to combine a couple of books and first put a couple of enchantments onto my crossbow. And when I put everything together, this is what it looks like. This is absolutely nuts. This bow is, this crossbow is so insane, but I need 75 levels in order to actually get it going. So for now, I was gonna run with some pretty basic enchantments, but I thought that my bow was already going to be enough in order to kill the Ender Dragon. And I gotta say, it worked a lot better than before. This crossbow, especially with crescendo of bolts, is the one thing that I was missing because the pullback speed on my regular bow was just absolutely not working. The Ender Dragon seemed to get glitched into the middle of the structure in the end for some reason. So I just wailed away on him with my knowledge of the ages glaive. I know my Storm's Edge has more damage, but oh well. And then it was time to continue shooting this guy down, landing hits left, right and center. I also feel like the velocity on the crossbow is much better than the bow. Which makes this a really easy fight. This was a piece of cake at this point. And why is my health at half a heart? What did this guy do? Huh? Oh my god, he even popped one of my damn totems of illusion. This was absolutely crazy. Something the Ender Dragon did hit me for all of my health through almost 15 armor. It's insane. At the end, the dragon started going crazy, spawning lightning everywhere onto the arena, and he was almost down. One more shot, and there we go. The end was freed of the Void's clutches. I don't know why Blazes spawned, that was kind of weird. Um, but I then went to collect all of the experience that the Ender Dragon had dropped and any potential drops. Now, I didn't really see any drops from the Ender Dragon, so I'm pretty sure it only dropped experience. But it dropped a pretty good chunk. After that, I claimed the quest to defeat the Ender Dragon, which gave me a Dragon Egg and an Elytra. Which was very nice, because I had a backpack that I wanted to make that required a Dragon Egg. And I have some dragon wings I want to make. But for that, we needed honeycombs. So I just scouted the first bees nest that I could find and I raided their home. And then I went back home because I really wanted to make that backpack and I wanted to make those dragon wings. So first up was the Dragon Traveler's Backpack. This backpack is pretty insane as it gives you, I believe, resistance and regeneration. But I didn't find any single way how to actually activate the potion effects. I will figure this out later, don't worry about it. But for now, I wanted to make the dragon wings. That was the most important one that I thought of because I thought that with dragon wings, you could fly infinitely. It appeared to only be an elytra and a cosmetic change, but still, these dragon wings were pretty dope. The flying with these wings is a little bit weird, however. It's not super easy to control, but we'll We'll, we'll become a pro at that in no time. I'm pretty sure of that. All right, guys, uh, you can you can cut and switch to the next frame. I'm looking like an absolute idiot here. <laughs> After all of that tomfoolery, it was time to check our next quest. I wanted to get back into the boss fighting, and the next boss was going to be the Blackstone Golem. For the Blackstone Golem, we needed to make a couple of special blocks: chisel, polished, deep slate. No, Blackstone Holders, my bad. You need to go to the nether and make a 9x9 nine nine platform of Blackstone Bricks. After that, you will be able to put a holder at each of the middle points within your platform, at the outer edges. After that, you insert four gilded Blackstone Shards, and that way you can spawn the Blackstone Golem. So here you can see that I put in in the middle point on the outer edges of the platform, I put in the polished chiseled holder. After that, the Gilded Blackstone Shards go in, and then our Blackstone Golem is summoned. 
Now, it's said that this was the most powerful entity in the nether. So I was really trying to keep my distance and I wanted to be safe while fighting this bad boy. Because you know, we're not, we're not looking to die in this pack, honestly. Now, it didn't seem like this guy was all too fast or too dangerous and he did not have that much health. After a little while, I was spamming with my crossbow and that didn't feel right, so I went in for some melee combat. Otherwise, it would just feel like I was cheesing this guy. And to be fair, even when I go up close, this mob cannot do anything because I have freeze too. And this guy just got frozen in place. This lump of black stone bricks just wasn't cutting it, man. He was, he was just frozen in place. Nothing he could do. Now, I got a Gilded Netherite Fragment, as well as two of those Blackstone Golem Hearts. I wasn't really sure what these hearts would do, but I knew I had four more Gilded Blackstone Shards, so I summoned another Blackstone Golem. And you know, I already immediately killed this guy using my Storm's Razor. And there we go, just like that he goes down, another Gilded Netherite Fragment is dropped, as well as two Ancient Debris. That was the Blackstone Golem. And now we were going to go on to the Conjunctivius. Now, this was a boss that got me good in my last playthrough. On day 20-something, this guy absolutely decimated me with his magic attack. We'll get into explaining that a little bit later. For now, you first have to make your way to the prison quarter. After reaching the prison quarters, you can either kill or skip all of the mobs inside. And you need to find a part of the dungeon where the dungeon leads downwards. Now, there are many cool weapons and artifacts to be found inside of these chests, so I do suggest you loot up everything. I first actually found the location of the magical vine. This is something that you will need to use later on. After that, you need to find the promenade of the condemned, in which we can find a dungeon. Now, I've spent a lot of time looking for this dungeon until I figured out the trick. The trick is to look for the only structure in this dimension that does not have a roof. That's just it. Look for the structure that doesn't have a roof and you're in. That's, that's literally how easy it was. I'm, I may or may not have spent in previous playthroughs multiple days trying to look for this thing. I'm not gonna lie. Then you need to speed run through the dungeon or again kill everything. Uh, until you can find a couple of floors leading downwards. I think it is three. It goes three floors down. And after that, you need to find a chest located at the very end of the dungeon that will hold something special. And as you can see with our current setup, we are just straight zooming through this place. We are just zipping. There is nothing. Nothing they can do can stop us. And you need to locate that vine that you just saw. After that, you need to put a waystone down or you can run out. But I suggest using a waystone because that's just a lot easier. And then you can use your magical vine onto the vine that's in the prison quarters, which will lead you up to a new floor and a new dimension. The insufferable crypt. I was absolutely ready to fight the conjunctive eyes. This boss did not know what was coming for them. I had a freezing weapon. I had an insane crossbow to keep shooting this dude. It was over before he even knew it. Also, fire damage seems to work really good on this guy, so make sure you have a fire weapon with you. Just boosts a little bit of the damage while he's floating up there. Now, this boss has a couple of phases. Mainly, you've got your phase 1, 2, and 3. After you've dealt about 25% damage to the boss, it will summon tentacles coming from the ground, which have to be killed first in order to make the boss vulnerable again. Now, I think after every phase, he has a chance to start s shooting out his laser beams. We'll see that in phase 3, as I'm killing him way too fast, as you can see here. Same with phase 2, he spawns another set of tentacles. They also change color every time, and I believe they get stronger every time as well. After getting rid of all of the tentacles, I was ready to go and kill Conjunctivius. I got him down low enough to initiate his phase 3, and then he started shooting his laser beams. Now, this doesn't really deal any damage to us, as I've already got Magic Protection 5 on all of my pieces. But without Magic Protection, this guy can cause you a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. And after that, we killed the Conjunctivius, 
and this bad boy drops 9,000 experience. That's about 30% more than the Ender Dragon does. It also drops a ton of diamonds, so make sure you loot everything up. After killing Conjunctivius, it was finally time to get into one of the more scary bosses of the mod pack. It was time for the Fallen Icon. Now, in order to fight the Fallen Icon, we needed to find the Essence of Eventide. Now, this is something that you get from killing the Moonstone Knight or the... Wait, actually, I don't remember what it was, but I know you can make a compass for it, the Moonstone Compass, which meant that we had to do a small lo-fi mining session as I didn't have any Moonstone yet. And the mine shaft under my base and the mines under my base only hold Verglass Ore. That being said, I did have a really good time listening to some lo-fi. I had the Shits and Giggles podcast on the background as well. And I just mined up for days, man. It was, well, not, not literal days. But it was fun to just have a normal, chill, relaxed mining session. I was kind of sad that I didn't find any Moonstone. Because I knew I had to relocate my mining endeavors somewhere else. As I had a feeling that maybe just Moonstone didn't spawn in this chunk. I don't know how that happens, but I had a strange feeling about it. Back at the base, I first inserted all of my riches that I'd mined up from the beautiful earth, and everything was starting to melt. This meant that I had a lot of basic materials to actually upgrade my chest system more, because I still want to get full diamond chests. You already know it. After that, I relocated my mine, and I started looking for a cave system. Within this cave system, it actually didn't take me a very long time in order to locate the Moonstone. I think it was just a good 10 minutes and there we go. Oh no, wait, that's Verglass. Ah, there is the Moonstone, yeah. I knew I saw it somewhere. After collecting the Moonstone, it was time to return back home and I also used up my last Waystone, which was kinda sad, but I was able to make the Moonstone Compass. So I then started on an Ardwacious journey in order to find this mysterious boss that drops the essence of Eventide. I also progressed the Souls-like weaponry questline a little bit by finding the Moonstone. That was kind of really good. And I set out forth on my journey. I crossed beautiful plains biomes, the dangerous seas, icy peaks, submerged within ice-cold water and a snowy forest. That was until I found the old champion remains. And the guy was pretty much already dead. I don't know what happened here, but this dude was already on his last limb. Now, I started immediately going in, because I thought I was pretty strong, right? I had a lot of defensive equipment, 15 armor, and oh my god, this guy's actually dealing some crazy damage. This was pretty insane. I never expected the old champion remains to deal that much damage. But that also meant that his second phase was going to be incredibly dangerous as well. So before I killed the old champion remains, I made sure that I had a way to get out of this place. Because staying inside of there is an absolute death trap. I wanted to have as much maneuverability as possible. So after killing the old champion remains while I was back at the entrance, the frenzied shade spawned. And for those of you who think you can take this dude, be careful. This guy has done me a couple of nasty surprises in the past before. It is a very dangerous boss. His health is very low. So that means that if you can get him to freeze, you can deal quite some damage to him. And that is exactly what happened with me. I was able to deal half of his health bar by just freezing him in place. After a little while, I got him frozen in place again, and I started dealing more and more damage. And there we go. The frenzied shade was down. The additionals that he spawned were still running amok, so I used my crossbow to finish off the last some of them. The problem being that they are equally as dangerous as the main boss. So be sure to kill every single one before you check your loot. And there we go. We got another Lord Soul, which means we can make another one of those cool Souls-like items. And we got the Essence of Eventide. And I also made sure to loot up the sarcophagus from the old champion remains. I mean, this guy is hiding some diamonds. You know we gotta take those. And just like that, after a little bit of time, I had another skill point to invest. Now, I got my last defense skill, so I went for a little bit more lethality. 
From what I believe, lethality is your armor penetration. Back at the base, I noticed that I was being an absolute idiot and I grabbed my structure compass again in order to find the Cathedral of the Damned. Or Resurrection, it's Cathedral of Resurrection. I made sure that I took the Essence of Eventide with me and after that I checked what I could make with the Lord Souls. And that's when I came to notice the Sword of Freyr was made with a Lord Soul. And we had everything in our sword system to actually make one of these swords. Now, this is arguably one of the coolest items in the pack, where I have a sword that is on standby behind me 24-7 that will attack anything that is hostile towards me. So you already know I went ahead and I enchanted that bad boy with sweeping edge, unbreaking, sharpness, and freezing three. So this sword could actually dish out some crazy damage. And I wanted to give this sword a little spin. I needed to find a couple of mobs and soon I did. And just look at how sick this sword looks. It goes in and it starts attacking, dealing a whopping five, a three to five damage to any mob. And it's got some pretty good attack speed. I then went on my journey to continue and kill a couple more things together with my Freyr sword in hand while I was going towards the Cathedral of Resurrection. And soon I came across a pillager base. And I gotta say, I was ready. I was ready to see this sword in action because just regular mobs, it could deal with instantly. They stood no chance. So the next test was the pillager base. I was gonna let the sword solo the pillagers. And I got you, fam. it really does solo a whole pillager camp. It really does solo them without any trouble. It dealt 12 and a half damage. Did you see that? This is absolutely insane. <laughs> this is insane. What the fuck? So yeah, it is very safe to say the Sword of Freyr is going to be my best buddy. Soon I arrived at the Cathedral of the Resurrection. And here I was fighting many mages. There were a ton of mages scattered around this place. Like I couldn't even catch a break while I was looting up all of this stuff. And there was a lot of cool loot. For example, this Berserk, which was really awesome. And then I had to deal with all of these mages combined. Just look at how many spells they're casting. Luckily for me, I had this awesome bow, crossbow, that dealt a whopping damage to them. They stood no chance, just one shot from this crossbow and they were absolutely devastated. And soon it was time to spawn the Fallen Icon. I used the Essence of Eventide and the Fallen Icon emerged from the ground. Menacingly, this guy stared me down. He knew we were going to do battle. He seemed to be deflecting all of the bolts shot from my crossbow, but that didn't matter. I ate an enchanted golden apple and I went in. My sword of Freyr was immediately obliterated by the fallen icon. I resummoned it, but it got slain again. It didn't even last one second. I wasn't dealing any damage at all to this fallen icon, so I had to check my strategies again. I wasn't sure what could damage this guy, so I went in with my Storm's Glaive, and this seemed to be doing about a damage or two every hit. Now this was a real, real big fight, because this guy had a whopping 1200 health, and my Sword of Freyr kept getting destroyed by him. But it was no problem, I kept at it, I had enough healing items and golden apples to keep me going, I just needed to be very careful about his smashing down skills that deal a ton of damage. In the end, I started to notice that he also has friendly fire on, meaning if I get swarm die mobs and I can get him to hit his mobs, they will die. Poison damage from my crossbow seemed to be doing quite a bit of damage, so I knew my tactic. I dip in, I dip out, and I shoot him with the crossbow whenever he's going to do a weird attack. I also kept dodging using my Storm Glaive's ability and my dodge roll. This was the perfect way to actually destroy this fallen icon. This guy does however deal quite a bit of damage, so I still needed to be careful of all of his different attacks. 
in the end I managed to get him down and he was on his last sliver of health when the next thing happened which I did not see coming from anywhere the fallen icon went down and his health bar started going up again he got resurrected into the harbinger of moonlight this guy had a second phase in his second phase he got a ranged attack which shoots beams of moonlight at my person this was very scary he then started doing some weird kind of charge attack and i got hit big he took down more than eight hearts of damage this guy is next level he then started using a field and aoe attack that got me almost down and killed me almost instantly and i knew at that moment we were not ready i knew we were not ready so i took a tactical retreat and i knew i first had to get a couple of different things before i was actually able to fight this harbinger of moonlight one of the things i really needed to get back were my totems of illusion of which i lost all two of them that i had remaining and then i went on scouting the many items in this mod pack to check what is the best armor I also made a couple of backpack upgrades because we were going to switch towards the Ender Dragon backpack. I knew I had to get that fire resistance, that regeneration, the water breathing. I knew I had to get those buffs if I wanted to make a chance against this Harbinger of Moonlight. So there we go. I upgraded my Dragon's Traveler backpack to the Netherite tier and I transferred all of my items over. I also enchanted my bow with that crazy book that we had laying around. And just look at all of these enchantments. This bow is incredibly strong right now. This corrupted crossbow is gnarly, dude. I then went, went ahead and I checked if I could get the special stats going from the backpack. And I found the ability button. We now had regeneration, strength, water breathing night vision and fire resistance we were buffed up the next thing i had to do was get another vein mining pickaxe because as you remember the new update for the reforging system made it so we need to make galena ore and you make galena ore with chorus fruit and with endstone so i went ahead and i got the vein mining pickaxe and i collected stacks upon stacks of this endstone the next stop was going to be the cor the chorus fruit so we could actually do some mythic reforges because we were desperately going to need them. Back at the base, I also figured out that the Sapphire is the strongest set in the game. And I knew I wanted to grind for this Sapphire right now. I knew it was time. But in order to grind for the Sapphire, we need to get 12 netherite ingots, which means we had to go back to the nether and we needed to grind up all of the netherite I could find. And one of the ways you can grind up easy netherite is by killing nether gauntlets. So I was on my way to the first gauntlet that I could find. And there we go. I immediately commenced battle, freezing this guy into place and dealing a ton of damage with my glaive. After a couple of well-placed bow shots, this guy was down for the count and I collected my ancient debris. This was going to put me one step closer to my goal of full sapphire mythic gear. Oh yeah. I immediately commenced battle with a second nether gauntlet and this guy knew his buddy got slain and so did he shortly after. And yeah, if you're wondering why I can walk over lava, I found a certain type of shoes it allows you to sprint over fluids, so water and lava, which is pretty cool. I, here, I'll show you. These are the boots that I found in a dungeon before. So it allows the wearer to walk on fluids while sprinting, and it's equipable in the shoes trinket slot. Alright, boys. I got a strategy. I got a strategy down to the T. Um, it just crashed. Ah, oh, come on, man. Are you kidding me? Exit code 8053063369. Got no idea what the fuck that means, but uh, let's roll with it. All right, we're launching again. God. Oh, there we go. All right, we're back. We are back in. Uh, so, yeah, runic tablet. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Well, if it's in the same loot table, then technically speaking, the other stuff should get dropped as well, like the, the um, simple swords and, and stuff like that. 
All right, let's go ahead and check where the serenade. Is it not called promenade? Like they say in Japanese, my Doesn't matter, we go for it. Uh, waystone. Here we go. Let's go loot this place up. I would prefer to have night vision though inside of this one. I mean, we can probably find this stuff in the end cities as well, right? I mean, I would think so. I need a healthy supply of ender pearls if we want to do this. Which creates the firework rockets. And I can create way more than enough. So, technically speaking, I should now be able to go like this. Right, okay. That works, but whoa, this is trippy. This feels like I'm actually piloting a plane. Oh god, that's trippy. Whoa! Oh, dude, this is crazy. There's no way we can... Oh, oh my god, what? You can do like barrel rolls and stuff? Holy! This is insane! Okay, uh, let's go, let's go to the end. <laughs> this is madness. Okay, after rebooting everything and getting zapped by my microphone. So the microphone is screwed in with a screw. That screw is electrified. I just zapped my own hand, man. Uh-oh. There's no fair sword to be bound to you. Oh no. Because of my crash, I lost my sword. No way. <gasps> All right, guys. It's been a good run. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. Um, damn, that sucks though. I really like that sword. All right, it's exciting stuff, dude. Exciting stuff. Let's go. Whoa, what is that? Soda light? What? Aluminium and sodalite. Oh, that's crazy. I don't even know what those thing two things do. Alright, let's go, man. Remote gateway. Here we go. Alright. Whoa, what the fuck is that? What? Oh, oh, that's crazy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's go down. Let's go down. I want to go down. Oh, wow. It's a weird looking. What are those? Dendlers. Crazy. Oh, dude, this is cool. Look at us flying. <laughs> Yo! Dude, we can do like a like a whole barrel roll. Look at this. Whoa! Holy! <laughs> Yo, this is so sick! Oh my god. I'm using a lot of rockets though. I mean I guess that's fine. Wait, 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 we got something over here. Oh my god, oh my god. There's chorus fruit, so that's good, but oh my. Wow. Okay. Whew, scary. If we mine that, does it... Oh, yes, it does. It pops everything. Dude, we can do so many reforges. Yep. Full mythic incoming, dude. That's what we're dealing with here, because these places usually hold loot, right? Yeah, they do. They do. Whoa. Whoa. Industrial circuit. Circuit. The backstabber. The backstabber? Oh my god. Oh, end rods. We're gonna need some of those. Wow. This stuff. It's gonna be useful at some point, right? Oh, wow. Hey, hello. Hello there. Combine with a handle to make thalassium or thermonite tool heads. Oh. Oh, Stormlander. 
Channel with the power of raging storms is a treasure of the illagers. Oh. Thalassium Ranger Band. Elven craftsmanship at its finest. 24% projectile damage. That's crazy. Let's go. We're back on track, boys. Back on track. Oh, what is that? Oh, God. Oh, God. I got to be careful with this. Whoa! Oh, my God. Oh. What are you guys? I don't think I even want to... Whoa! What? Mending? Oh, dude, this is crazy. Fortune 2, Soulbound, Potion Barrier, crazy stuff. And ch Whoa! This is insane! Two stacks? Two stacks? Really? What do we got over here? What is that? Oh, shit. I actually didn't... Whoa! This is difficult to control! What? Is this a village? What the fuck? What is this? On the... They got amber jams? What? Whoa! Hold on! Firework rockets? I feel like I'm exploring uncharted lands where no man has gone before. I like this. This is awesome. I'm trying to keep track as best as I can of the days. Sometimes I do end up forgetting. Sometimes I do end up forgetting about changing the day. I am very sorry. Ooh, we got another ship. We got another ship. All right, we are going to barrel roll. Whoa, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, shit, I messed up. We got to go back. Umber. Wait, this one is completely ruined. Does it even have loot? It should have, right? Yeah, it does, it does, it does. Ooh. Nice. Solid, solid. I'll take the phantom membrane as I'm not really harvesting it any other way. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta go back for a minute. We gotta go back. End cities exploration. Do I keep like half a stack in my, in my system? Yeah, that sounds about right. Look at that. 15 Galena chunks. It's also what we need to reforge stuff. So if we grab a couple of iron ingots, we are going to be able to make this into a mythic one. So we got 13% durability, 10% speed, and most importantly, 30% ranged damage. Oh, I'm going to become a pro at this. I can already tell. Look at us. Look at us. Hope oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Stuck the landing perfectly. Did you see that? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> That's so insane. All right, let's go. That's legendary. That's rare. Legendary. Epic. Mythic. It gives us crit chance. Right. It gives us speed, 50% durability, and 30% crit chance. 30%... Do I really want that crit chance, though? I mean, 30% is a lot. Don't get me wrong. I'll, I'll keep it for now. It is mythic. It is mythic, right? Oh my god. You <laughs> see how many endermen they're stacked up over there? Jesus. Alright, let's keep exploring. Because we need to find the end city. Oh, found one. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Ah, oh, no. Guys. Guys, can we stop doing this? Oh, thank you. Oh, it has loot! It has loot! Oh my god! Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fire. Oh, here we go. We got cloud in the bottle, boys. We got cloud in the bottle. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh! Arcane spell... Power. Oh, that's cool. Four attack damage. Wait, do we only have one? Yeah, we only have one slot for the hands. No, we have two slots. Yeah, we do. To deal fire damage? Well, I'm... 
I don't think we need the fire damage, to be honest. So I'd much rather have the four extra attack damage. I think that's going to go longer ways. Ah, here we go. Dragon head. That's what I needed. Right. All right, here we go. Time to loot up this place. What do y'all got in store for me? I'm hoping for some good loot, baby. Here we go. Got another industrial circuit. All right, here we go. We didn't find any runic templates. I'm kind of sad about that. Or runic tablets. I think the right word is. Uh, no, yeah, fallen icon. Right. So the fallen icon is literally what we gotta kill now. Yeah, we gotta gear up for that. Oh. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I was so caught up in doing it the normal way. Hold on. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, end ancient city. Yes, please. 5,000 blocks, easy. I can just AFK this. All right, while we are flying on autopilot to our next destination, which is... Wait, hold on, let me do it differently. I need a little bit of reverb. I need a little bit of echo. I don't think I need to change my pitch. Good morning, everybody. This is your Captain Elabro speaking. We will be soaring towards our ancient end city. This will be our first and foremost destination for the maximum amount of loot possible. If you'd like, everybody, fasten your seatbelt, strap in, grab a snack, grab a drink. This is also a hydration check. I hope you smash that subscribe button down below, and let's get right to it. I hope you guys like that one. A <laughs> little bit of RP in there, you see. I think with this rocket, we should be able to reach it. Oh, also, Entity. All right, let's stick this landing. Here we go. Oba. Kind of stuck it. Not fully, but kind of. Ooh, this one's got a lot of loot, boys. This one's got a lot of loot. We got a Void Blade. Got some industrial stuff. Oh, yeah. Stasis. We got another smithing upgrade. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. We're not going to be using magic. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on a minute. Wait a moment. Whoa. Boys. 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 We got a 24% attack damage ring. 24%. That's nuts that is nuts oh my god we'll soon find out i am right i am a hundred percent right oh necklace with attack damage as well necklace with attack damage as well you gotta be kidding me okay time to get out of this dump wait no we still have the, the ship to loot up, right? Wait, there is no ship. Ah. Okay, that means that not every time it spawns a ship. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. End city. Here we go. Game here. I've been absolutely scammed. There is another obsidolith right next to it. That's kind of cool. Yeah, there's like barely any loot here. That was the only one. Really? It's kind of ass. What else do we got in here? End gate fortress. Whoa. End mine shaft, outpost, pyramid, ruin portal, ruins, shipwreck, stronghold, village, spire, grove, ender keep courtyard. Payukimi. Payukimi? Payukime. Ayukema. Ayukema. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not gonna I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna act like I know how to pronounce it. Definitely not. No no no. We're not doing that. <laughs> Alright. Uh so that necklace is pretty good. 
I don't think I'm going to have to fortune anything anytime soon, so we're going to be running this for now. Right, so the Sapphire Equipment Templates are found in the Nether. Now, the only other question that I have about the Sapphire... The Sapphire Ore is found both in the... Oh, wait, that's Tech Reborn. I don't need the Tech Reborn bullshit. We gotta get... We gotta get these bad boys. You know what I'm saying? I do need to get gunpowder. So I need sulfur. Alright. That's our next order of business. Getting a load of sulfur. We can find sapphire in the nether. But. I came to a very interesting conclusion. If you upgrade using the smithing table. It should not change your rarity. Which means that we can just make diamond armor. And if we then get the Galena chunks, let us go ahead and try to get a mid- Oh, wow! Wow, six max health? That is insane. I can already tell that we're going to run out of diamonds before this is done. But I want that mythic, man. I want that mythic. I'm telling you. I can feel it. This one. Dang. I only have a mythic mythic helmet. Ah. And I'm also going to need so many, so many more diamonds. Can you believe it? First, we needed to get... Yeah. Yeah. There's something else we got to do first. Oh, I already forgot what the name was of that stuff. Was it this one? No, it's not. It was something with an R. That one. It has to be this one. No, that's the nether. Oh, God. It's this one. It's this one. Yes. I'm smart. Don't look at me like that. But I don't see the sulfur anyway. Wait, hold on. I do see it. Here we go. Ah, it's inside of the water. Ah. All right, back to the base. We got some gunpowder to make, boy. What was that word even? I, I don't know, man. All right, let's take a nap. All right, yeah, dude, we got more than enough. All right, let's go and uh, hunt for some sapphire. Wait, that's the wrong bastion. It is, it is this one that we need to go to. Yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Soul Siphon. I'll take that. I will take this. I will take that and definitely taking that netherite ingot. Oh, that's gnarly. Oh, my God. Ooh. I just spat all over my monitor, but damn. Ooh. Gnarly. Two more chests. Let's go. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Damn! Whew. Let's go! Ooh! Another ancient debris. Two more ancient debris. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this. Look at this. Do you see this? That's five netherite ingots and I need 14. No, wait. I need 16, actually. Whoa. Did they actually already do something with this? Oh, they did. Whoa. Take a chill pill, guys. Take a chill pill. Hold on. Take a chill pill. So, what have you guys done with this? Is there some functionality to this place or not? The last time I saw this in a mod pack, it had zero functionality. And I think it still does. I also don't have... Oh, I have one more scrap in here. Right. Okay. 
Hey, that's kind of lit, man. That's kind of lit, man. Don't mind me. Uh, I am going to need from you guys. I'm going to need those. And I'm going to need the sapphire ones as well. All right. How do we spawn the, the respawn rune? Concierge? Wait, there's a different boss in there? Conjunctivius. What are we missing? We are missing monster eyes. Which you loot in the chests and you loot from the mobs. 5% of the time. 5, 5, 5. Which is apparently not affected. And you need blank runes, which is the... Yeah, okay. Right, so we now have 9 netherite ingots. To make these bad boys, that is two. And I want to make a sword as well. Which means I could make the full set right now, but then I'm short. So I need three more netherite ingots. Yes, I need three more netherite ingots. I can't really make that. I can't really make that right now. Pwah! That is seven of them though. Seven! That's so expensive. Yes! Yes! And another runic! Wow! That's really good. That was a full netherite ingot. That was a full netherite ingot, dude. Oh god. Oof. Rough. And no chests over there. Ah, yeah! That's half an ingot. Ooh, that's a full ingot. I think we're done. I was looking for three more. Yeah, we're done. We are done. Yep. Wait, hold on. I can check its loot table, though. What are you? Withered demon? Oh, well, I got his. <laughs> his loot table uh, just got completely uh, obliterated into experience. Alright, so they're not in any loot table. It is literally just a spawn. A spawn of the ore. Oh god. How did I get them before? Did I find a vein of, or something like that? There we go. Back to the base we go. Back to the base we go. We need to farm some conjunctivius for easy diamonds. Wait, no! I needed 12 netherite ingots to get the full armor set to Sapphire. Dang. I feel like the weapon might break the game a little bit too much. Yeah, we're just gonna go for... We're just gonna go for the armor set. I'm about to have myself an amazing morning. We are going for Sapphire. I finally figured out where it is. Uh, I've been doing about... I've, I've been going about this all wrong. Right, I have my medallion of disdain on. Cool, I get you. I get you. Uh, let's hope we can find the sapphire. Wow. wow, in the first... The first chest that I open, I immediately find a sapphire template. Smithing upgrade. Wow. Oh. No, in this one there isn't. No, that's not gonna hold it, right? Really now? Okay. I mean, there's also one in that forest over there. Wait, but that's where I came from. I'll go towards the one that's all the way at the bottom over there, yeah. We could try our luck over in that direction. And hope for the best. We got... We got loot. We got loot. The Slicer. Wow. Be a big fortress. Oh, come on. Just give me the sapphire ones. Where are my beautiful chests? Ah. No sapphire smithing template. Give it to me. I need it. No. 
What is this even? A fire bowl? Why? I don't need that. Aha! Yes! Please! No! Come on, man. No! 5% in my ass. Wait. Nope. Nope. Damn it, man. Nope. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, look at that! What is this? Ain't nothing in these damn places, man. Ain't nothing. We need to find a warp forest. Like, we need to find an actual warp forest and we need to we need to get that grind in, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We need to get those sapphires, man. Yes! This is a fully fledged... Aw, oh, dude. The biome's so small. What do you mean? I don't think we're gonna find any sapphires in this place. Yes! 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 And that's a lot. That is a lot of them. Oh my god. Come here. Give me that extra fortune. Here we go. That's one. That's four. That's five. Six. Okay. We just need... We just need seven more. Four more, man. Just a couple more. I'm telling you. Pickaxe about to break though. This pickaxe about to break. We might have to make a quick stop at the base. Oh! Oh! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need seven. That's five. We're done. We're done. We're done. Oh my god, this is a big vein. Holy, holy. We're done, guys. We're done. That was it. That was all I had to do. And I could have saved myself so much time. <laughs> Unbelievable. Back to the base we go. We're done with the sapphires. Holy. Okay, now the next step to this process is getting back into the prison, the prison world. And we gotta kill a ton of mobs because we gotta get... It's two monster eyes per conjunctivius, right? If I remember correctly. Wait, why don't I have the respawn rune? Why is the recipe not saved? Here we go. One monster eye per. Easy. That's also just rotten flesh. We got one monster eye. Okay, so we can... S I think we're gonna have to do like three or four times. Conjunctivitis. I think we'll have to at least do it three to four times. All right, let's go to the promenade. Promenade of the oh! You're as beautiful as the day I lost you. Hello! Oh my God! We got you back! I can't believe it. Oh, that is awesome. Yes. Oh, I really like that. We got it back. We got it back. Yes, that is one more monster eye. There we go. Uh, two more. Nice. Just need one more. Okay, oh, just, just... Oh, there we go. We got it. We have four monster eyes. Let's go. We are out of this place. Back to the base we go. All right, make ourselves some of these respawn runes. Wait, hold on. We got four blank runes. Easy GGs. Four respawn runes. Here we go. On to conjunctivius. I also have a better crossbow now, so this thing's gonna go down immediately. Wait. Oh, 
Oh! This thing gives a shitload of experience. Oh my god, it gives... Wow. It, whoa. It gives so much experience. What do you mean? That is insane. Alright. We get some more attack damage. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Another skill point. Look at that. We are blasting through these skills. Um, yeah, we're getting Warrior's Devotion, which is minus 25% range damage, but we get plus 10 attack damage. That is insane. That is insane. All right. Nice. And another skill point. Dude, it gives me a full level each time. How wild is that? Yeah, just how wild. Oh, because it gives us 8,000 experience orbs. Jeez. Yeah. In every single mod pack, this thing is an experience grind, I'm telling you. If you ever need a lot of experience, just fight this this thing. It's insane. Boom. And here we go. We're going to get another level right here. There we go. Yeah, just like that. Wait, I didn't get another level? Well, apparently I didn't, but still. Wait, are we max level now? No, we are definitely not max level. Still, that is good. Alright, let's go. And let's reforge the rest of the equipment. <laughs> Let me get my Galena chugs. Here we go, here we go. Let me get the extra diamonds I had lined up. I got a stack of diamonds to do some reforging, boys. Let's go. Let's go all right Ooh, 10 armor and six maximum health that's insane dude these mythic reforges are not playing around especially this chest plate's not playing around Damn, dude! I need like a stack of... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Damn, I still need more diamonds and more Galena. That's kind of insane. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We are good. That one gets stored away. And then we make... Our sapphire ingots. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. It's happening. It's happening. I'm gonna do a couple of these already. I'm gonna do a couple of these already. Because I want to see it happen, man. Yes! It retains... It retains it. Oh my god. It retains the mythic affix. Holy... There is... Oh my god. Dude, look at this. Look at this. Holy. That is insane. That is... This is insane. Mythic Sapphire Helmet with 6 maximum health as well. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Dude, this is cracked. I'm telling you, this is cracked, man. <laughs> wow, okay, we need to go and get some diamonds. ASAP. Let me get some netherite rubies. Let's go, let's go hunt for some diamonds. The amount of reforges I've done on that chest plate is insane already. Ooh. Hello. RPG, let's go. 
that's kind of big. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. 13 more. Conjunctivitis. Yep, it is faster. For sure. And we find like a lot of this RPG stuff as well. That's kind of cool. Yes, yes, yes. I see them. Let's go. That's four more. We're like half a stack now. Here it is. Ooh, I'm missing... Chorus fruit? Really? Well, I have half a stack, but that's only good for like 16 more. Get a little bit more chorus fruit in this place. Why can't I not find a, a bit of chorus fruit? Ah, here we go. Stuck the landing perfectly, man. Alright, here we go. Now we're in the money. Alright, here we go. Call this chorus fruit. Chorus. Back to the base. Chorus and back to the base. Let's go ahead and grab our chest plate. Come on, we got this. We got this. Mythic incoming, dude. There we go. There we go. It's done. It's done. It is just done. We're, we're done. Oh my god. Oh ho ho ho! Yo! Insane. Insane, dude. Oh. This is the set that's gonna allow me to survive everything. That gives me. 12? That's 24 extra health. That's 12 extra hearts in total. I do not have any of that health. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. Crazy. Wild. 100 levels. 50 levels. 17 levels. 37. Wow, I could... I, I almost did it. I almost did it. Wow! Three armor bars! What? Damage deflection. Three as well. Oh, dude, this is insane! Boom. Boom. Just boom. That's all I have to say about that. Just boom. Three health bars as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're reforging Storm. Damn! Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What? No, no, that's no, that's insane. That's actually that's cracked. 14.2 <laughs> attack damage. Two attack speed, three attack range, 20% crit chance, 50% durability. That's cracked. That is totally cracked. Mythic weapon. That is nutso. Harbinger of Moonlight. So it is still stuck on that phase of his. Right. Whoa. Hey, yo, you good, boy? Whoa, what the fuck? What is that? You okay, man? Whoa, now I'm trapped underneath here. No, you're not gonna do that. This. We're shredding through him. We're shredding him. Nah, man. Nah, man. You are done. You are done. 
Why are you laughing so much, man? What? Why are you laughing so much? All right, easy. Easy, dude. All right, let's get back to that waste zone. Now, seeing as I have mending, if I get into a boss fight where I can't kill the boss easily... This, oh, wait, there's an absolute here as well. Does that mean that technically I could take XP bottles with me to use as a repair... Like, to use it to repair my stuff? I think it does work like that, right? Here we go. Absolutely. Yeah, it's one, right? No, it's not. What? We need to get an Eye of Ender, and then we can go to the Obsidian. I wonder. I'm ready for you, my guy. He's got 2k health. Wow. Oh, and he deals damage. All right. So far, so good. He's gonna be spawning pillars pretty soon, yeah. Pillars first, here we go. Please. We have enough movement speed to dodge around, so that's pretty good. All right, on to the next phase. Whoa, he's teleporting and stuff? Crazy bastard. Oh, dude, we got the crazy moves going on. We are doing good. All right, he's going to spawn the pillars one more time, I think. Yeah. Nice. We got it. Let's go. All right. Down the Obsidolid goes. Stood absolute no chance. Obsidian Obliterator. Wait, do I gotta climb up there to get my reward? Seriously? Alright, give me my reward. Whoa! Whoa! What? He drops a ton of stuff. Oh my god. Bow of Lost Souls, Runic Tablet. He drops some diamonds, the Obsidian Heart, a stack of Obsidian, a Permafrost Stone, and a Wick Piercer. Dude. This thing drops quite a bit of stuff. Obsidilith has been taken down. The raw essence of the end. The Ender has been corrupted by the Void's presence. The Ender's Eye needs to be defeated to establish balance in the now desolate dimension. The Eye can only be summoned at an Eye Shrine. The Eye Shrine is built with a base of 5x5 Obsidian and the 3x3 centered Crying Obsidian. On all edges, an End Rod has to get placed. On top of the Shrine, the player has to sacrifice the Dragon Egg. The Eye can only get called in the End Dimension. I'm going to clear out an area where we can fight this this thing. Because sadly, the last time I fought this thing, it flew up to the sky. So it didn't do exactly what I wanted. With a 3x3 of Crying Obsidian on top of it. End rods on all ends, on all corners. And then the dragon eye. Dude, I'm scared. Oh god, it's activating. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Are we ready for this? Why is it not doing anything? Am I missing something? 
Shrine is built on the base of 5x5 obsidian platform and a 3x3 centered crying obsidian layer. On all edges, an end rod has to get placed. On top of the shrine, the player has to sacrifice the dragon egg. Oh god! Here it is! What the fuck? Oh, here we go. Oh, you are nothing. You are nothing. Yeah, I got you trapped now, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you thought I didn't know what your secret dirty tricks were, huh? Going all the way up to the top of the void. Ain't no way, man. Phil, up at a smithing table. What why am I? What? What is this? Whoa, what the fuck did this spawn? What is this? Where? Oh, this thing spawned another fucking eye. What? Wait, does that mean I can keep fighting it? What the fuck? Yeah, dude, it just spawns another eye. Oh, that's gnarly. Um, yeah, sure, I guess. The, oh, it continues. Chapter 2, A New End or Scal's Rewards. With the defeat of the dimensional threats and the restoration of the realm's balance, Scal the Eternal Flame spoke directly to the champion. In recognition of your valor and dedication, Scal's voice resonated. I bestow upon you a fragment, fragment of my essence, the Molten Core. This gift, illuminated by Skal, Skellax's fiery presence, signified both the hero's triumph and the pledge of a continued protection for the world. Oh? Make a hardening crystal. Oh, two netherite ingots, really. I thought I still had some netherite laying around, right? I don't? No, I just had enough, I think. I have three scraps, but that's about it. I also don't have in any... Yeah, I don't have any extra ancient debris. Um, Void's invasion. Here. The void shadow has been defeated, but its essence escaped the empty void and formed a rift in the end. Something is coming. Deep in the end, strange voices now whisper. The king in yellow is near. What? Whoa! What? What is going on? The end's rift, void's influence, and an unknown power. This is not over yet. That was nothing. But a shadow, and now with this rift, I'm afraid we won't be able to do this. Unless we use their own power against them, we could trap one of the heralds of the void inside a vessel, and with it gather their power. But first, make yourself a better weapon. I'll make the vessel. I'll make the vessel. Skal says. Skellax says. Oh, dude. Which are forging artifacts? Crazy. With the defeat of the void's shadow, the end has been affected by a, by the void's higher forces, the cosmic horrors. Eldritch beings that hold pure corruption in their veins. Whoa! The old champion's remains can be found in the old champion's graves. This skeleton figure, who was once a great champion, now has been possessed by another being. Yeah, we killed this. With which we got an essence of glory. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Ooh. I see now. So you need a molten core, you need a specific weapon, and then you can make the crazy weapon. How do you make a star forge? Oh, you gotta, you gotta find Magus. It's only dropped from Magus 25% of the time. Really? Oh, I like this. I like this. Hold on. Okay, I had some issues. My GPU stopped working for a second there. That was really strange. Uh, but we back. 
we back. And I need to see what we're actually going to be doing. Because now that we free the world of the Void's invasion, I I'm sort of lost on where we're going from here. So the Decaying King will give us Demonic Essence. And Ghost of Captain Cornelia is going to give us the Wrath Essence. So we've got the Demonic Essence, which makes either the Scythe or the a Lava Storm. And then we've got the Wrath Essence, which makes either the Thousand Fists or... Is this the Frostmourne? Yeah, it's the Frostmourne. I mean, shit, we can just go kill the um, the king, the decaying king right now. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's go do that. Let's go kill the decaying king, man. Oh, God. Let's go to that decaying king, shall we? All right, buddy, it's time. All right, buddy. Oh, yeah, you do not stand with any chance. Fire does nothing to me, dude. Oh, dude, this is loud. Oh, my God, it's so loud. All right, well, there he goes. Jesus, that is... That is loud. Okay, that's a bit better. My goodness. He dropped a Darkened Blade and a Withered Demon Heart. Not that many levels, but we did get another Lord Soul. As well as a couple of quests. Here we go. We got the first quest, which gives us a couple of levels. And we got the one from the Void's Invasion. So we also have the Demonic Essence now. Oh yeah, this one was Captain Cornelia, that's right. I mean, we could also just go go and do that real quickly. Doesn't look like we got any one of those biomes close by. Maybe we'll have to skip on Captain Cornelia for now. Yeah, maybe that's best. Gold to diamond upgrades. Wait, only four? My guy. Here we go. Look at that. How many spaces we got? Hmm. Not that many. Dude, our system is filling up very fast, actually. Kind of surprised about that. Okay. Um, well, anyway. I want to see what I want to do with this base. Ooh, I could move around with the beacon, I guess. Float around up, float up, float to the side. What was saying? Cha cha real smooth. Something like that. Beautiful, good stuff, good stuff. Nope, you don't get to do that. Now, I ain't no professional builder. Let me clear that up. But I I would like to make my base something pretty cool. Alright, so that is the basic foundation. I kind of like this open openness to it. I kind of like that. So far, I am really liking it. Here we go. All right, look at that. It does seem a little bit off-centered. I might reframe the the dirt on that one. I mean, yeah, that looks kind of sick, right? Okay, that should be diorite then for now. At least for now, right? I mean, yeah, that looks that looks that looks pretty gnarly. Cool! Yeah, we got a lit up storage facility now. Huh. And it's a new day. So we extend it by one, and then we're gonna add a little bit of depth to it. So, we're going to be, like, switching this up, adding one, decreasing it by one. Just a little bit of variation. It'd be nice. So, I think that will that will do the trick. I do need a grass block for it, so I do need my silk touch. Wait, do I have that still here? Yeah, I do. I'm just quickly grab one of these blocks. Because that's going to make it spread like wildfire.
Wait, you can't group them up together? What the fuck? Nine samplings! What? Samplings? What am I saying? Saplings. Nine saplings! What the fuck? Saplings. Jesus Christ. Oh god. Well, there we go. That's the giant redwood for you. I actually think because this redwood looks like that, we need to make this island a bit smaller. I mean, that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool, right? Like this? I mean, that's fine. Then like that. Maybe it should hollow out into the wall as well. Not just into the portal, but into the wall behind it as well. That could be kind of cool. I mean, even behind my nether portal, it could become like... How do you say? Like, it could become even... A big portal room-ish. Possibility as well, right? Here we go. Now, I got an idea on how to shape this, right? Because the question is, how do you make something that's natural looking without, like, manually shaping it too hard? So that's where this is going to come in handy. Right? Maybe just one more? Maybe that's the trick? Yeah, that kind of that kind of works. Like that's already looking pretty sharp, pretty fly. Then around that we should add some regular obsidian. Just like highlight those areas. Need to have a little bit of spread going on there. Need like a higher density of block spread. Just like Ooh, what about like a, a pillar hanging down like that? That table is perfect for there. Nice. Like if I throw some bone, if I slap some bone meal right onto here, it should help with the vegetation, right? I believe it should. Go at it like that. Doesn't that look better? Oh yeah, that definitely looks better. I would like to keep my work safe. Dude, th that thing is growing out of control. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking we build a couple of workstations for like all the different stuff. For all, every single, every single type. I mean, I do kind of like the log. I kind of do like log. But, so, like, oh god. Wait, Bastion? <gasps> no! Shit! Oh, shit. Oh, shit! No! <laughs> There's no way. Wait, it was at the mine one, right? The basic mine one. What the fuck? Bruh. No, it's not. Oh, God. Where's my base? Dude, all of these are so far away. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's actually too funny. Cow. Oh yeah, that's 100 blocks away from my base. Okay, we good, we good. We good. Yep, we're gonna need a little bit more oak. Wow. I actually didn't think it would take this many oaks. Or this much oak, rather said. I also need to figure out a way how to get more gunpowder. What else can I use? I probably will just... Yeah, I just have to get a... Uh, I just have to go to a creeper. Just dab him up with this sword. And probably dab him up while I have that extra level of looting. It's probably going to solve my issue. Ah! Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big boy. Ones. We're gonna fill this in with wood. I don't want to be dealing with no stone. Oh, the wrong one. Here we go. 
take down the bed for a second. I could make it like... I mean, that could work, right? That's kind of whack. Oh, my plushie. Yeah, of course, the plushie. I can't forget about the plushie. Yeah, dude, my little shark watching over my stuff. Awesome. Let's go. Jerry tables. These are not functioning tables. So then we add the other tables. I would say over here. Depending on how big they are. Ooh, these are pretty big. Oh, but you can't put them right next to each other. I kind of like that. Very sorry spot for my waystone, though. I'll put him. I'll put him right here. Maybe move him up two more blocks. There we go. So that's our workstations done. I mean, it could probably look a lot better, but for a functional base, I think this is this is not bad. Dude, that just keeps growing. That's insane. For functional base, this is not bad. I now want to figure out what I want to do with my armory. Something inside of me tells me that I should build like a scaling... Like a scaling wall over there. Like maybe a triangle or something. You could probably do something like that. Yeah. That looks weird. I was about to say, that just looks weird. Let me just fix that really quick. There we go. So that's pretty good. Now, what am I thinking over here? I'm thinking we do something like this. Mm, no. All right. Time to take down my sugarcane farm. You have served me well, and you have provided me with way too much sugarcane. <laughs> well, there you go. What if I add haste? Oh! Okay, that's kind of insane. All right, if I just add basic haste, I am able to go pretty hard. That's good to know. That is actually pretty good to know. I'm not going to lie. All right, is this going to suffice, you think? I'm not sure. Alright, where's my waystone? Here it is. Wow, I aimed that quite perfectly, even if I say so myself, man. That was pretty good. Alright, here we go. I can break stone with an axe. That that looks illegal. That looked very illegal. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not missing you, buddy. Oh, no, no, no. I think I'm going to work with a deep slate combo, but I want to see what options we have in the stone cutter. Ah, oh, we have no blueprints. We have no schematics. Right. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay, for now, I think I'm going to work with a brick, and let's see how that brick is going to be looking... Now I got adequate testing area. Let's go ahead and see what the depth would look like. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hold on. Let me get this shot. So I'd probably go at it like this, or is that too cramped? No, that looks pretty good. Okay, that actually that actually works out. I like the the, the um, separate stuff, though. I do really like that. I mean, I could be totally wrong about this, and I might be breaking some secret laws of the Minecraft builders, but... I mean, I don't see an issue with this, though. Oh, yeah, no, that looks great, man. Yeah, this looks great.
there you go. And this is going to be the armory. Okay. Let me then go ahead. You guys are just attacking me in my base now? What do you mean? What's going on here? What do you mean? Wait, do you got like something with blaze? Blaze? Yeah, you do. You got blaze mesh. Hold on. Hold on. I'm cooking. I'm actually cooking. I am actually cooking. So I'm going to start putting these bad boys in, right? So like... Ooh. Wait. 16 and 5. That's 21 armor sets. Yo! We might actually be able to fit in the whole armor set stuff in this in this place. That's kind of that's kind of nice. I like that. I have my looting sword on. Time to go kill some blazes. Like what? Draw with looting. This don't this don't spawn fast enough. Oh, <laughs> he went flying. Yeah, that doesn't really work that well, huh? Really, this guy's gonna. Okay, there we go. Actually, not that much. Never mind. We're gonna need quite a bit more, huh? I mean, we'd need like six more. Okay, 14. 14. Look at that. Look at that. Just absolute perfection. Oh yeah, look at that. What other light sources are there? Well, here are sea lanterns. I can actually make quite a bit of those. Let me put that up there. Here we go. I mean, but the 7x7 seven seven flight is nice, but the area is way too small. Way too small. I need to get a couple of these bad boys. I do wonder how expensive they are. Oh, dude, this looks cool. I'm missing blazing eyes and ancient animas. The anima, I have another anima, but I'm missing the blazing eye. Wait, did I have one in here? No, I don't. Ooh, I should have taken them with me. Right. I don't know how to use this. Oh, here we go. You just have to have the right uh, table. Whoa. Oh. Oh. This is cool. Please still give off light. Yes, it does. Oh, my God. Oh. Look at these things. They're so sick. What? Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. This. Oh, it's exactly the right amount. Go figure. What? Go figure, man. That's epic. All right. Time to grab some of that deep slate. Time to grab some of that oak. Ooh. 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 That's good. That is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. All right. Let's go ahead and put in those armor sets first, huh? How about that? The first sets of the system. How about that? How about that? Okay, yeah. Is that harder than diamond? Is that the achievement, really? Oh, fire ruby. 
How do you make that? What is called catalyst? Okay, I need to make a second ruby set. <laughs> Alright, there is the ruby. I'm gonna put the mana steel right next to the ruby. That's gonna look pretty cool. Oh yeah, that, that is gonna look pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna take a nap. And we're gonna do some exploring for... It's time to take a break from base building anyway. These last three days, I want to do some uh, exciting exploring stuff. I'm going to need Silk Touch for this. I'm going to need my compass. I'll take my rockets with me and the enchanted golden apple. I'll also take Fayer with me. What we are going to do now is we're going to look for an ancient city. And there is one 3,000 blocks. So let's go to that. There's no way this is the same one, right? There's just no way. No, it does actually look different. Yeah, it's different. Ooh. 8% attack damage. We got like some Iridium going on. Regen 2, Skulk Sensors. Warden upgrades. And you can find them in the loot as well. Oh, here it is. See, now that's what we're talking about. Oh. My boy has spawned. My boy. Oh, he actually deals quite a bit of damage. doesn't really stand a chance but he did deal quite a bit of damage so I'm quite surprised about that wow dude his sonic boom does damage it's crazy it's not like he stood a chance but hey but I need fire ruby I and mean, we did get the smithing templates but we need netherite for that so yeah there is that as well now we got to think what, what we want to do with these last days that we got remaining. We, I kind of want to do some more base building. Because we've defeated most of the bosses in the pack, I feel like. So I want to focus on polishing the base a little bit more. And then just like I have over there, keep the, um, the roof as the original structure. So keep the roof as those things. But move it over, if you know what I mean. Oh, we got a 1,670 power level? Sheesh. Oh, no. This needs to be logs again. That's going to be blackstone. Log. Blackstone. Oh, God. And I'm going to need another flying beacon. Yeah, look at that. It's a little bit more depth. Just that little bit more. But that does do the trick. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Wow. Wow. Okay. Hey, dude, I think I'm getting the hang of this. And logs. How does this look? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh shit. This looks epic. What am I saying, Blackstone? It's Deep Slate. Oh, God. Please do not cancel me in the comments below. Please do not cancel me. Okay, this side is complete. This side is also complete. So now I need to move over my flying columns. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of flying around over here. That should give me a big enough area to work with, I believe. Ooh, I like the look of that. I really like the look of that. All right, let me go over here now. So this needs to be blackstone. Blackstone. This should be logs. That was a brick. I did not mean for that to happen. I mean, I can already start in, start filling in these ones, right? Oh, no, I'm probably going to have to change it up.
Okay, so that hallway is fixed. The other thing that I still want to do with the hallway... There's one additional thing that I gotta do. One additional thing. Which is, I need to make some lanterns. Iron bowl one. Whoa. Let's check out how this looks, right? Because we could do it like that. Ooh. Nice. That is really nice. There we go. Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. We can add one here as well. Ooh, I really like the look of these things. Wow. I'm going to be adding like small details all over the place, man. Dude, this is so cool. Iron Bowl Lantern is a goat. I'm telling you. No, I can uh, let me make a couple of additional lanterns because there is something else that I want to do. Those are the big ones. Those are the wide ones. I would like to craft the these ones. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. I'm thinking about something like this. Ooh, I like that. All right, what other build do I still want to do? We have smirked up our base quite a bit. We've got functional stations for every single type of work that I'm trying to do. We got a whole, we got a whole smithing setup. We got a whole enchanting setup. We have an armory. Um. I mean, if there's, like, one more thing that I'd like to do is getting, like, a weaponry set up. But I guess, like, this whole area could be weaponry. Maybe we could go down and have, like, a spiral case. Uh, the other thing that I would like is I would like to put tables of, uh, tables of elevation all around my base. For that, we'd need to kill quite a few more night liches. He drops two animas when you kill him. So that's pretty good. And we'd have to fight some more. Do I have another anima? Yeah, I do. What about soul stars? How many soul stars do I have? I have seven soul stars. Which means I can fight one more guy, right? We have a pretty good crossbow, so we should have an easier time with that night lich. Is that going to be... No. It's not a night lich that I've found before. So we're good. All right, let's go ahead and spawn this bad boy in. On day 100, we finish off with a couple more boss fights. Oh, it immediately turns to nighttime. What? Wait, where is this dude? Yeah, you really need a good bow for this guy. I mean, if you got a good bow, this fight's a piece of cake, to be honest. I definitely do suggest getting a crossbow with uh, the Crescendo of Vaults upgrade or enchantment. I definitely do suggest that. There we go. There he goes down. All right, let's go and uh, get our loot. Oh, he drops a ton of enchanted books as well. Uh, and we're going to turn all of this stuff into rockets. So I have two stacks of rockets. Nice, right? Let's go ahead and go to the Blackstone Golem. Here we go. So we have about 10 minutes of daytime left. Uh, and now we need to find a couple of gauntlets. Yep. Sad part is that he only drops one each time he, uh, he dies. So, we're a little bit stuck on that. Kill him fairly quickly now, it seems like. But yeah, the Ancient Debris is also pretty nice. Pretty nice. Gauntlet. Five. Six. Oh yeah, definitely. Alright, on to Gauntlet 2. We gotta go now. There you go. There you go. 
All right, let me clean the ancient debris. You can already make two normally. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I'd love to get flying over my whole base. Let me just go ahead and do it like that. Two pistons. Then we make the arm extractor. Equipable in the glove trinket. Oh, that's the one. Oh, dude, look at that range. <laughs> These ranges are pretty good. You can go all the way over there. Set one up over here. You can fly around this whole area. Oh, almost. Almost fly around the whole area. So this goes out till there. And I'll have one over here. So we can fly around pretty much this whole area. That's nice. That is really nice. Okay. Yeah, now it's turning nighttime. All right, let's get this build started then. How could I make this turn around? Or is this fine? I mean, this is pretty fine. If I just add something that will keep me from falling off, I feel like this will be okay. Although we do need to start going a little bit to the side. So if I add a platform over here... I like the, the mix-up between 4 and 3. I like that. Also, we have a static 4x4 four four going down this direction. And then we have the uh, crazy circling ones over to the other side. Why am I not in range of my flying machines here? Alright. So we got a whole big area to work around with, right? Alright. That's been day 100. I'll explain what I'm thinking about, right? So, before I head off, I can have halls extending outwards into the cave systems that, like, use the same type of pattern that I'm using before. With the, the deep slate and the oak. But each path that diverges outwards is gonna have, like, some altars and stuff. Like, I could make this pillar into, like, a giant altar. Um... Yeah, adding like pillars and stuff. Ooh, that's also pretty cool. And incorporating the weapons and the pedestals into the cave. That sounds pretty good to me. But yeah, this has been your boy El Abro. And this was Prominence. It was, uh, it was a very fun mod pack, I have to say. I thoroughly enjoyed myself with the whole RPG skill system. With the, the little bit of base building, the different elytra movements, it's going to make a ton of people sick, right? I can already tell. The backpacks with different effects, new armor sets, the reforging stuff. It was, it was pretty insane. It was pretty insane. We defeated so many bosses. I think I even have... No. I just have some collectibles that I still needed to do. So, yeah. Um, guys, check out this mod pack. I'm telling you. It's, you're going to have a blast. You are going to have a blast. But yeah, this has been me. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Don't forget to subscribe though. I see you. I see you in the comment. I see you in the comment sections. I still reply to all my comments. For those of you who are wondering. We're still doing it. <laughs> I'll keep it up for as long as I can. But yeah. This has been me. And I'll catch you on the flip side in the next pack. Or on the next stream. Because I like streaming. Alright guys. That's it. It's over. The video is done. Why are, you, why are you still here? You really think something else is going to be happening? Nah, man. Come on. Go out. Touch some grass. Do something. <laughs>